Bum-bum. Hello, Nina. How are you? Hello, A. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hello, Beverly. You are the first one, A. You're the first one. Hey, Ashley. Hey, the fart. <laughs> I literally can't with your name. And I can't remember what your what your real name is. Hello, Courtney. Hello, Haley. Hello, Gris. Hello, Tiffany. Hello, Olivia. It is really me, Megan. <laughs> Hello, Megan. Hello, C Powers. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Towns. It was so good. This is so weird. YouTube is all the people are coming in YouTube before TikTok. There's only like 12 people on TikTok right now. It's really weird. Hey, Kaylee. Hello, Victoria. Hello, my friends. What is going on with my TikTok? There's 20 people in here. I wonder if I messed something up. <laughs> Did I miss? Oh, thank you, Haley. Me too. Me too. Hold on. I'm trying to see something. If I did something weird. I'm online, right? I'm online. Oh, here. They're starting to come in now. Okay. Usually I get them a minute apart. Courtney, Dragonfly. You didn't get a TikTok notification? Hmm. Hey, Cos. You're taking a break from SPN binge to watch me? Thank you. Where are you? Like, what are you at right now? Everyone, I just got hired at Walmart making $16 an hour. I'm so excited. Congratulations, Victoria. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, Jacqueline. I am early. Hello, Mouse. Been gone a bit. Husband had a stroke about a month ago. Oh, my goodness. Your chest kept me company at the hospital. Your voice is so happy. I'm glad I could keep you hump uh, company. How is your husband feeling? Hey, Caitlin. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, Caitlin. Let me write you down. Kate Lynn. What was the name of it again? Erica, hello. <laughs> Only you two. Hello, Gata Cosmica. I hope your son is feeling better. Let me go check. I'm sorry. I can't remember, Caitlin. Doing better every day. We're lucky. Oh, I'm so glad for you. Just got your wisdom teeth out. Nice, Emma. Hello, Cedrica. Guys, this is so weird that TikTok is going so slow. Normally on TikTok, when I go live on TikTok, I get an influx of people in the beginning. So I get like three, four hundred people like in the beginning and then they kind of like wean off and I average around 200. But we're like struggling to even get to 100. I don't know what's going on on TikTok. I don't know what's happening. Hello, Letty. House activity lately. Hello, Shania. House activity lately. Ashley. Random tomatoes. <laughs> You're going to come back? Okay. The old fainted seeing you were online. Oh, my God. My subscription expired and I need to renew it. How do I do this, please? Um, Kelly, you can use this link that's going to come up. I'm, I just put it up for you. Yes, honey. Hello, hello. I got lucky to be first today. Yes. Hello, Sin. I'm reading Stolen Tongues and it reminds me of some of your stories. I wonder, can I like share my own live? Hmm. Hello, Shady Lane. Hello, Faith. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Sin again, I said. Hello, Kayla. Hello, Shania. Yes. Hello, Mama. Hello, Crash. Hello, all my friends. A few others said they didn't get the notification either. I know, so weird. Panda, thank you so much for the heart puffs. And Kiki, thank you for the um, for the heart me. Hello, Rika. Thank you, Kiki. Hello, Doxy. 
<gasps> your Maine Coon's birthday is today. He's four. Happy birthday, Maui. Maui is a great name for your Maine Coon. Hello, Carla. Hello, Pookie. <laughs> um, house update. Inspection went great. Literally, inspection went so perfect. Couldn't have been more perfect. So I this is my first like time looking at a home inspection report, but like there's like the really bad stuff that like needs to get fixed. Then there's like the middle stuff, the orange stuff that like is something you should do, but it's not immediate. And then there's like the the blue stuff, which is like suggestions, but not at all needed to be done. Like little little tiny stupid things, which don't really matter at all. Um, we had nothing really bad. In the orange, we had five things and they were all to put smoke detectors up and carbon monoxide detectors. That was it. Those were the worst things on the report was that we have to put up smoke detectors. Like literally went beautifully. We, si we signed the first part of the contract today and we put down our down payment today. So very exciting. Very exciting. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Hello, Gemma. I took Benadryl because of all the pollen. Oh, I'm drowsy. Oh my God, I hope you can stay awake, Victoria. Thank you, thank you, thank you, friends. Thank you, guys. Navy, hello. Yes, thank you. We are in the process, DLS. I don't want to get 100% excited until it's all done because you never know, you know? But I've been asking the universe to just guide me on this house situation for years. And just saying, you know, I finally just gave up trying to even worry about it. And I was like, you just, you'll tell me when it's time. When it's time, it'll just happen. And it's happening very quickly. It's been, it's been like a little over a week. And we like got pre approved for mortgage, found a house, loved the house, put the offer down, got an offer, accepted put down a down payment, signed a contract. So like literally it, it's going good. So I feel like this is supposed to be it because everything's going smoothly, but we'll see. It's up to the universe, up to the universe, up to the universe. Thank you so much for being excited with me. I appreciate you. Oh, my trip was great. Buying houses is an exhausting process, but it's so worth it. It's actually been, it's been fine. I mean, you know, it's a lot of like little things, but it's been good. It's been very exciting. You kept getting outbidded? Oh man, that sucks. Thank you, Doxy. Thank you so much. Our trip was great. Our Kalahari trip was great. Um, little side adventure we had to have <laughs> because my stepson was like walking in the hallway and running his finger along the wall, which had like a wood um, like part on it got a giant splinter under his nail all the way up, like literally all the way. His entire nail was a giant splinter. Couldn't get it out. Had to go to the hospital. Uh, they had to give him like four lidocaine shots and, and dig it out. So that was a little side adventure, <laughs> but he's fine now. And besides that, we had an amazing time. We had an amazing time. Hello, beautiful Barry. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I felt so, we all felt so bad for him. How painful. Can you even imagine under your nail? I can't. Someone digging around in there. A little side quest. Hello, Nick. He's OK now. Everything's good. And the rest of our trip was great. We had a great time. We really, really did. We had a really great time. It was really, really nice. How is everybody doing? How's everybody doing over here? I'm cringing. I know. Oh, oh my God. I know. There's 43 of us, but only 16 likes on the video. Don't forget to edit and like. It helps. Thank you, Caitlin. Jess, hi. I missed you. How are you? You didn't get notified? I don't think anyone's getting notified. I put the notification in Discord, but I don't think anyone's getting notified on TikTok because there's like a lot less people than normally come in in the beginning and a lot of people are saying they didn't get notified. So I don't know. You made bread today. What kind of bread did you make? You started your new job as a mail carrier at USPS. Congratulations, Erica. I wish you so much luck. Hello, Tiffany. 
Oh my God, Jess, why are you, how are you sick again? What do you have now? My poor lady, you made some sourdough? I do wanna try, I do wanna try it. Any idea on Kate Middleton? I have no idea what you're talking about. Please fill me in. Suffering with allergies, but good. Hello, Miss Murda, I miss you too. I keep sneezing, damn allergies. Don't got allergy meds either, but hey, I'm doing good other than allergies. <laughs> We moved our boys in the same room, and now hubby and I have our own room again. <gasps> that must be so nice, Mama Little, probably. <laughs> Hello, Brooke. Oh, she's missing, huh? It took three days. Oh. Hey, Missy. Hey, Shunat. She's been missing since Christmas. Just a head cold. I ran myself way too hard on my craft retreat this weekend. <gasps> Wait, did you go on the craft retreat? Like the one that you wanted to go on? Did you go on it? Oh, I did announce on Discord. If you didn't get the notification on Discord, make sure that you are signed up for the notifications. So make sure that you go in the Discord on the left-hand side where all the channels are. Go all the way to the top and it says channels and roles. It says server guide events and then channels and roles. Click on that and make sure you fill that out um, so that you get notifications. She's recovering from abdominal surgery. Interesting. Make sure, guys, that you are on Discord. You, you are in the channels and roles, you check off that you want to be in that group that gets notifications. This one was different virtual, but 12 hours, no breaks, two days. I was in craft heaven. Oh, that sounds amazing for you. I hope you had so much fun, Jess. A mommy makeover. She got a mommy makeover. Hey, hey. Rumors are that she's dead. Auntie, can I get a screen recording of a birthday song from you? What do you mean? What do you mean, Shania? Hi, Keisha. Chris, hello, my friend. I've missed you too. I think people are grasping about the Kate thing. She had to get surgery. I'm sure she's healing. Uh, not getting them is a new thing. Yes, you probably have to go into the channels and roles. So when I made that new thing, so the thing I made for Discord is like a new thing for when new members come into the Discord, they have to fill out this little thing and it says like what notifications they wanna get and like what's, whatever it is. Like it's, it tailors it more to the person. Um, but so everyone currently needs to also fill it out in order to get the notifications now. And I did put out a notification to everyone when I did it and I asked them to fill it out, but I'm sure most people didn't see it. But there's some wild theories. I'm sure there are. Hello, rocks. You just posted a video with the cards you made. Oh, I'm going to have to look at that later. When I go, you're in my list of people I check every day. It's shirt, by the way. I had fun in her lives. Oh, are you talking about Jess? Yes, you have not missed any stories. Hello, Minnie. I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. Oh, cute shirt. Thank you. From Target. I got it from Target like a year ago. I'm getting buzz buzzed a lot. I just want to check and make sure it's nothing important. It's not. Okay. Quick questions. When is this starting? I always miss the live stories. Okay. So I don't have um, specific days that I go live. The days change all the time because I have um, a rotating custody agreement. I am divorced. So my days with my kids change every week. Um, and so I go live when I don't have them and I go live when I can. So, but when I do go live, no matter what days it is, it will always normally be around 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today I got on a little bit earlier because I, I was able to get on earlier and because I missed you guys so much I wanted to get on earlier and hang out because I haven't been here in like a week. Um, so make sure you look out for the notifications in Discord. Make sure you're signed up for them. And if you're looking for me, look around like 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If I'm not on at that time, I'm not on that night, if that helps at all. I miss you too. Spending time. Oh, your birthday's today. Shania, your birthday's today too? Okay, hold on, we got two happy birthdays. Ready? Let's do, I'll go in order. We'll go to Shania first, ready? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Shania. Happy birthday to you. And we have another one. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Keisha. Happy birthday to you. 
and many more to both of you. I hope you guys have wonderful days today. Happy, happy birthday. Everyone saying happy birthday on TikTok to you too, guys. <laughs> woo woo. Hello, Helen. I'll always be now to hang out with my favorite Andy. Yes. How's the house stuff going? House stuff is going great. I'll say it again really quickly, but we um we signed our part of the contract today and we put down our down payment today. So I'm still not letting myself get 100% excited, but it's going well. It's going well. It's exciting. It's really exciting. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting to see you this week. Oh, you weren't. Well, here I am. Here I am. Yes, I'm moving. I'm literally only moving like a town over. <laughs> oh, my God. It's literally so exciting. Going to be your birthday on Friday. Ooh, my son was listening and he's in the backseat yelling happy birthday. Courtney, that is so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. You haven't been getting notifications? Oh, no. Thank you, Kiki. Thank you so much. Yours is on Thursday. We got a lot of birthdays. My mom's was yesterday. Hold on. I also want to say thank you to Kiki. Cheer you up. And um, Amira for the 53 heart puffs. And Rika for the eight cheer you ups. And Saucy for the team bracelets. Stephanie for the team bracelets and the heart me. Rika for all the heart puffs. And Jess for the heart me. Thank you so, so much. Pisces friends. Pisces, friends. The legend of Dobby. Thank you for the heart me, the legend of Dobby. Oh, Dobby. I love Dobby. He's just the cutest little guy. Amanda, thank you for the heart me. Mm. Mm. I'm so thirsty. Yours was on the seventh. Happy birthday to you, too. Kiki, thank you for the team bracelets. Oh my gosh, Becky. Look at her butt. <laughs> it is so big. Yours was the eighth. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Hello, Des. Friends, I need to ask you a question. I was, I was so disappointed in Uncle Matrix. So we were uh, driving the other day and I said something about boys to men. I don't remember why. Love boys to men. And he said, he said something about how all of boys to men songs were so sexually inappropriate. And I was like, no, they weren't. And he was like, yes, they were. And I was like, what songs besides I'll Make Love to You? And he said... Oh, I don't know. And then I started listing other songs that were not. And I one of the ones I said was Mama. And he was like, I don't know what song that is. And I was like, you don't know? That's like one of my favorite Boys to Men songs. And I even sang it for him. I played it for him. He never heard it in his life. Then I played End of the Road. Never heard it in his life. Literally, this man has never heard of any Boys to Men songs except for I'll Make Love to You. What? How could you sit there and make such a blanket statement? Please, please just let me know that you guys know the song Mama. Please let me know. <laughs> please let me know. I was frozen for you guys. I shouldn't be frozen. It says my service is excellent. Thank you. End of the Road was like one of their fucking first songs that they had out. On the that whole CD was great. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was driving me crazy. I came into an interesting story. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Katie, baby. Hey. <laughs> Squirrel. Did you sing to your mom? I missed something. No, no. I was talking about boys to men songs and how Uncle Matrix didn't know any of them. Specifically the song Mama. I don't even know if it's called Mama. I think it's a, so a song for Mama is the actual name of the song. But Your brother saw them in concert? Oh, hello, Brad. Bended knee on bended knee. So good. Guys, I get chill. I get chills when I hear these songs. I love them so much. I love 90s R&B. 
I also super love anything Janet Jackson, Tony Braxton. I have like a whole, I really love 90s r and <laughs> Kalahari, is he young? He is five years younger than me. But my sister is a year older than him and she knows all the songs. Yes. Oh, my God. Love some Janet Jackson. Usher, of course, Usher. But he was a little bit later. <laughs> Brandy and Monica. Yes. Mariah. Obviously, I love Mariah. Mariah, she's on fire. <laughs> Hello, Crystal. I was obsessed with Mariah Carey for so long. Um. I have three cats in here, guys. There's, you can't see Luna, but uh, Cauliflower and Natasha are in the bed and Luna is on the banana. You know the banana? I have pic I have videos of for TikTok shop, the TikTok shop banana, she's on it. I can't, you can't see, but she loves that damn banana. New edition, yes. <laughs> oh, Backstreet, yep, Key Sweat. Yes, Aaliyah. Yes, all of them. All of them. Destiny's Child was one of my favorite CDs. That one, what is the name of that one? From that time period with Bugaboo. You guys remember Bugaboo? <laughs> Bugaboo and Bills and all those songs. I loved that Destiny's Child. I played that over and over and over. TLC, so good. Writing on the Wall, is that the name of it? Mary J. Blige loved Mary J. Blige too. Yes, friends. Ooh. What's a new song you have playing in your head nonstop? A new song? I don't listen to the radio. I don't know the new songs. Any new songs I know are because they're on TikTok or my kids sing them. <laughs> Whitney Houston. Oh, uh, Lauren Hill. Yes. Lauren Hill. The Fugees. Love the Fugees. I love that Fugees album. <laughs> Bills is one of your favorite songs. Waterfalls. Yes, my friends. Hey, Ashika. Celine Dion is not in the same genre, but... I did like Celine Dion. Yes. Waterfalls was your favorite. I thought I was so cool because I could rap that part in Don't Go Chase Waterfalls. <laughs> I thought I was so cool. <laughs> also love Salt and Pepper. Obsessed with Salt and Pepper. I don't listen to new stuff. I prefer older songs like late 90s or even because the 90s was the best generation, friends. Let's be real. Have I been on long? I've been on for about 20 minutes or so. Oh, you know what? I can tell you I've been on for 23 minutes. Hello, Lisa from the UK. Wait, SWV. I feel like I know that. Oh, it's SEV. 90s, baby. Woo. Who's Tevin Campbell? I don't know that one. And Vogue, <gasps> which one? Is it never gonna get it? Never gonna get it is En Vogue, right? Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. I love En Vogue. Love En Vogue. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yes. Scissors with voices. I bet you if you played it, if, if you told me a song and I heard a song by them, I probably know, I just can't remember. Don't let go. That's a good one. Don't let go. <laughs> ACDC, different genre, but yes, I love ACDC. Thank you. Tevin Campbell sings Can We Talk. Weak in the knees. I bet you I know it. <laughs> wow, your voice. Thank you. Uh, yes. I have not seen the new Wonka movie. I heard it is amazing, but I have not seen it. The 80s were life to grow up in high school. Amazing. Seal. Oh, my God. If I had to pick a genre to listen to a lot, I would pick Disney. Disney songs are really fun. The Wonka movie was great. I don't know why, Gina. I can't place the song. 
Remember Sneaker Pimps? I don't remember that. Of course, Michael Jackson. He was everywhere. Gotta love MJ. Just so good. Just so good. If I heard it right. Definitely if I heard it. What's it gonna be? Cause I can't pretend no. Don't wanna be more than friends. Hold me tight and don't let go. Don't let go. Have a right to lose. Ooh, Green Day. Green Day, different genre, but love it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my friends that you're not an odd kid if you loved green day green day was amazing 50 cent eminem snoop dogg elvis presley elvis presley blink 182 here's my petition to bring back your little love buns you used to wear my hair is too short they won't stay anymore but i do miss my little buns <gasps> alanis morissette yes alanis morissette I have a 90s and 2000s place and all that music goes on there. Amanda, is it on Spotify? Can we get it? <laughs> Can we listen to it? Green Day was your first concert. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Robin. I do like 80s m music too. Yes. <laughs> the Legend of Dobby. The Cranberries. Isn't it ironic? Yep. Don't you think? Snoop made a kid show called on YouTube called Doggy Land, and my son loves it. Snoop sings in the songs and plays as the teacher. It's super cute. I saw a a, a song that he wrote, like a very high vibe, like happy song, and I with kids in it, and I loved it, Caitlin. I loved it. Hey, Flossum. Yes. You love Doggy Land? about self-love and respect. Gotta love Snoop. How old is Snoop now? Some 41. <laughs> what time is it here? It's 7.52 PM. 100. <laughs> Alexa, how old is Snoop Dogg? He's only 52. I thought he'd be older for some reason. I feel like he's just been around forever. But he still looks exactly the same. <laughs> he looks exactly the same to me. <laughs> the cats are cracking you up. What are they doing? Well, Kali's scratching. 52 years old. He won't ever change. Remember when he was a uh, remember when he was Snoop Lion for a second and he quit smoking? <laughs> Does anybody else remember that? When he was Snoop Lion? Alanis Morissette has a special place in my heart. I love her. Yes, you remember that. Yes. <laughs> Snoop Lion. <laughs> oh, my brother looked like a white Snoop Dogg growing up. <laughs> Is he super tall and skinny? Your Alexa responded. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, start doing reggae. I also do like reggae. Yellow card? What is that? What the fucking shit? My fucking cats. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know what this bitch was doing. She knocked one of my pictures off my wall. Red Hot Chili Pebbles!
Yellow card. I don't know yellow card. Ocean Avenue. No doubt. I have had... Uh, I've been singing Spiderwebs, that No Doubt song, for like a week, and I don't know why. It just keeps popping into my head when I'm just around. Is that the name of the song? Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking in the spiderwebs. I'll leave a message and I'll call you back. You know that song? <laughs> Bare Naked Ladies. Oh, I loved their whole album. It was a good album. It was a real. They had some really good songs on that album. That's the name, yes. Pearl Jam. I wasn't a huge Pearl Jam fan, but I did like some Pearl Jam. They had that Pearl Jam had that like notorious '90s like voice, rock voice. <laughs> no, that was your. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. <laughs> did anyone else love Hole because of the haters? Hole was so good. I don't remember. Nirvana. Yes, Nirvana. Ugh. Wait, and who sang that song? Uh, remember that song? Oh, my God. Okay, please tell me what this is. It's in my brain. The video was really weird. There was like a melting lady that looked like a Barbie doll, kind of. And there was a person in a bee costume running around a field. And... Oh, God, this song. You give me such positive vibes. I love your lives. Yes, Nat. Black Hole Sun. Thank you. Yes. Love Black Hole Sun. Sunday morning is Brian Maroon 5. Yes. My mom was born in 71. She raised me on the Eagles. Love the Eagles, honey. Love the Eagles. I also love classic rock. They were good, right? You remember watching that video as a kid, right? <laughs> so good. Creed. Creed is not my band. Foo Fighters, yes. You have to do your taxes. No, Bojo. Fuck those taxes. Who cares? Don't pay the government. The government's stupid. <laughs> Am I a 90s baby? I was born in 83. Hello, Jess. It was a surprise. I wasn't. You loved Creed. Well, Creed is also kind of Christian, aren't they? Aren't they kind of like a Christian rock band? Kind of. Um, I didn't. They're not. What am I thinking of that they were? Are you sure? They are. Yes, they are. Yes, yes. I thought so. Stacy's mom. When was that song out? Creed is a Christian band. Yes. Stacy's mom has got it going on. <laughs> um, you were born in 2006. Oh, my God. I didn't announce in Discord earlier that I was going to go live today because I wasn't sure. My life has been because of all this house stuff going on because we were on vacation. I have a bunch of birthdays happening and all the house stuff and trying to get all my work done. I've been so crazy and I didn't want to make any promises that I couldn't keep. That's why I didn't say I was going to be on because I was planning on trying to go on live yesterday too and I didn't make it because I was out for my mom's birthday. I didn't get home till like nine o'clock and I was too tired. So I didn't I didn't put a thing out. So, surprise, I'm live. Bush, yes. Mainstream Christian, yes, just. Chumbawamba, of course I remember Chumbawamba. There's a Discord. If anyone is not on the Discord, please come join. It's right here. It's dsc.gg slash antimatrix. TikTok can see that. YouTube, I'm putting it in the chat right now. Please come and join us. Um, you can get notifications on when I'm going live. You can chat with people. We have like 1,800 people that are in there. Everyone is welcome. Come join. I did not just start. I started about 30 minutes ago. Um, we've just been chatting, though. Hello, Angelica. You were born the year I graduated. Oh, my goodness. I have not heard of that one. Uh, Isaiah's. Bowling for Soup. Goo Goo Dolls. I just deleted my Discord. I didn't know you were on it. I am. Pink is later. Not 90s, but I absolutely adore Pink. And I love her. 
Matrix road trip blasting 90s music. Oh my God, that would be so fun. Thank you, Trinity. Thank you so much for that compliment. Um. Uh, <laughs> I was going to do something. What was it? <laughs> OMG. What the fuck was I just going to do? I don't remember what I was going to do. I don't remember, but I'm really sorry that I'm missing all of these. I want to say thank you to Amanda for the heart, me Kiki for the team bracelets, Stephanie for the team bracelets, the 15 team bracelets, Unicorn Kitty for the tiny dinies, Robin for the heart, me, Larry for the heart, me and the team bracelets, Miss Darbs for the heart, me and all of the heart puffs, uh, Mama Jen for the heart puffs, Michelle for the heart, me. Thank you. Oh, pink is just really good. Her voice is just gorgeous, and I really love her as a person. If you want to send stories, you can send them to this email address right here. It's antimatrix at gmail.com. Chris, are you in the chat on YouTube, or are you having issues again? I hope you're not. I feel so bad. Pink is phenomenal, right? Oh, leave a message and I'll call you back. Uh -huh. Sorry, I don't know the words. God, leave a message and I'll call you back. It's all your fault. I scream my phone off. Wow, my mouth, mouth. I scream. Oh, yes, you are. Britney Spears was your first concert. I loved Britney Spears too. <laughs> uh. Okay. No, no worries, Chris, at all. You do your thing. It's okay if you can't be here or you're not here or whatever's happening. I was just wondering because I know that you've been having tr uh, trouble. My aunt loved pink to the point she set up where you called her. It would play so what instead of the ringtone for you. I love that. <laughs> Hanson was your first concert. I'm more of a corn, stone sour, and system of a down. Christina Aguilera. Oh, my God. Evanescence. She is who I want to be when I grow up. Britney Spears is my Lord and Savior. Can we not talk about Britney Spears? Because I'm going to tell you something. If there is one thing that gives me, fills me with absolute feelings of dread, is when I see videos of Britney Spears now that's clearly not her. And it's honestly terrifying. It really fucking terrifies me. I can't even think about it. I can't even think about it. It scares me too much. It's like up there with dolls. Might be worse than dolls. It makes it just makes me feel really bad inside. Like really bad. Like it's it really, really scares me. Hey, Esther. I did not read her biography. Sierra, Sierra. right guys i fell down that rabbit hole and it's scary i did for a minute and i had to stop because i was literally terrified mm -hmm. your sisters are also terrified of dolls <laughs> even scarier than ghost activities in kitchens maybe maybe oh my god jess don't you fucking dare <laughs> My son asked me if you were afraid of Chucky. Yes, of course I am. Who's not afraid of Chucky? He's a murdering doll. Of course I'm scared of him. <laughs> Ooh, okay, Andrew, you want me to write you down? Or are you going to be around for me to read it? I'll write you down. What's the name of it? Like, what did you title it so I can find it? If anybody has stories, let me know. I have two or three written down so far. You just joined Discord. Welcome. You named it Beyonce Concert. All right. You're number three. You do. Brooke, what's the name of your story? You will be number four. I miss you too, Samantha. You didn't miss any stories. Um, it's 
I do, we have, do have a lot going on because also we were on vacation and then we're also in the process of probably buying a house. What if I had a doll made in your likeness? I think that would be okay. As long as it wasn't a porcelain doll. Amber. You have a story. Liz K. What is yours? What's the name of it? A visit from a friend, Brooke. A visit from a friend. Thanks for being live. This is perfect making dinner live. You're so welcome. I'm excited for the stories. Me too. I am sick right now, so I'm watching this while lying in bed and my phone is standing on my sleeping cat. <laughs> what is Discord? Just another live stream with a chat room type situation. No, so Discord is not a live stream. It is basically, I like to call it a chat room. Um, it's always there. You can go in it whenever you want. Uh, and there's all different like sub chat rooms in the chat room. So like I have an anti-matrix chat room, Discord server, chat room. And it has like topics like general chit chat, pets, paranormal stuff, whatever. And you can chat, write stuff in there whenever you want and people can answer, but it's not a live chat. It's also a good place to get notifications about what I'm doing, like YouTube videos and live streams and stuff like that. Yes, we went to Kalahari. You have a story. Dharma, what is the name of your story? You will be number six. Dolls are no-no, especially with batteries. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Laura. Hello, Natalia. Kayla, you will be number seven. Scary knowing you're dreaming. Scary knowing you're dreaming. Um. Okay, Katie, baby, you take your time. What did you end up doing with your pendant that came off your necklace? I still have it. I believe it was green eyes, Dharma. Green eyes. Hello, M. Hello, Jesse. Can you tell us about any recent experiences, glitches, or odd things that you've seen if you had? I don't have that many weird uh, experiences. You know what's funny is I do. But I don't like, they don't seem weird to me. <laughs> so I feel like I forget about them. Thank you so much. Um, oh my goodness. Mama Jen for the 10 heart puffs. Michelle for the heart me. Shay for the 50 heart puffs. Kiki for the fire. Jesse for the 26 heart puffs. Shay for the 25 heart puffs. I appreciate you all. Oh, vibes. Vibes, you can be number eight. What is the name of it? I used to live in a portal. Is that the name of it? Was that the name of it? Hello, Vibes. I normally start, persevere. Hello, my lovely lady. Thank you for the 44 heart puffs. Man who walked through the door or something. That's the name of it? Man who walked through the door or something? Hello, canine. That one sounds good, especially since I've been watching Loki lately. Oh, my God. The second season of Loki was so good. So good. Emily probably would have an autistic meltdown if I went to a concert. To be honest, I'm actually autistic, by the way. Um, I get that. Uh, I am undiagnosed. <laughs> Audi HD. And uh, I... Honestly, can't really go to concerts. I have, and I always regret it because my anxiety is off the damn roof. <laughs> it's like fucking off the charts. I can't even, it's very, way too overstimulating, and there's people, and it's loud, and I don't know why I ever try. What's it called? Astral projection and a ghost story. So obviously not as bad as you, but I understand. <laughs> Astral production and a ghost story. Have I watched Dark on Netflix? I don't think so. Okay, vibes. Sounds good. Auntie, do you need me to be here to read the story? Uh, I don't need you to be here. Um, I would prefer you to be here for you. 
You know what I mean? If you want to hear your story being read, you are number three on the list, Andrew. But if you, so you can come back another time and I can read another time. Or if you don't care, I'll read it when you're not here. It's whatever you want, honestly. It's your story. I have not seen Preacher. I have not seen Mo I have not seen Night Swim either. My girlfriend and I are going to see Pink in October. Kind of nervous because of my anxiety. I get it. I get it. You don't care? I can read it. Okay. All right. It'll be on the replay. Friends, if you're not, um, by the way, we're also live on YouTube. If you are interested in seeing me on YouTube, the stories will be on the screen. It's a little better quality. Um, YouTube is anti-matrix, or you can look up Tessica Vision, I believe. Um, but it does get recorded. This live does get recorded, and it's posted on YouTube in case you miss anything. So no worries, no worries, no worries, no worries, no worries. I get it, though, since my anxiety used to be so bad that I wasn't able to go to school without having a panic attack every other day, and I wasn't able to shop alone either. Oh, man, Emily. Ooh. Talking about the Matrix. Where are you heading over? Heading over there in a few. Play. Hi, sunshine. You're so sweet. Such a beautiful soul, sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. <laughs> um, I feel like we should start stories like early right because we've been chatting for like 45 minutes because i got on early so we could start stories early i have eight story <sighs> i'm good i hit my hand must be elm street that was completely different than what you said <laughs> must be elm street syndrome okay i got you i got you Time change means stories early, right? <laughs> YouTube is much better than TikTok. Yes, it is. You're welcome. I don't know what that is real. I don't know the Ryan Garcia tweets. I don't know who that is or what they are. You felt that. It was okay. It wasn't so bad. Shay, thank you so much. Oh, my God. L, thank you for the 31 heart puffs. Sunshine, thank you for the heart me. Virtually beautiful, thank you for the three roses. Shay, thank you for the 68 heart puffs. Janet, thank you for the rose. Hello, Miss Darbs. Woo, woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. Just join YouTube live so my phone doesn't die. Nice, Kayla. Nice. What? How are we doing on um on likes? We're up to sixty eight thousand likes. All right, all right. We are not gonna hit a million tonight. We are not gonna hit it. How much money do you get from a rose? How much? Can you guys tell me how many coins does a rose cost? If you tell me that, I can tell you one. It's one coin for a rose. So that means I get five cents. A rose is five cents. Five cents? Point oh five? Is it five cents or is it point oh five cents? Point, I can't remember. I could tell you that for 20,000, so for you guys, you use coins, and then for some reason, it like it turns into diamonds for us, and then we cash the diamonds out. So I can tell you for the diamonds, 20,000 diamonds is a, is $100. So yeah, it's half a penny, half a penny for one rose. 20,000 diamonds is a hundred dollars right i think <laughs> i think it is really crazy it's because we only get a percentage and then TikTok takes like half of that percentage you know it's the same thing honestly i think one coin is the same as one diamond Two roses is only one cent. I think so. It's honestly normal. Um, 
for other sites I've been on, that's like a normal payout. Me too, Haley. I wish the hearts worked like TikTok too. Do you guys think that we should um Yeah. Yes, Megan. Do you guys think that we should start stories stories early? You think we should play the drawing game now and then we should start stories? I have eight stories written down. We could start them. Cause I got on early, so we've been chatting for almost an hour. Yes, ma'am. All right, drawing game and then stories. Da -da. Uh, well, I set up the drawing game. Uh, YouTube, I am going to give you an ad. Thank you so much. I love you. Let me know what you get. The How's the house going? If you did not hear, the house is going well. We put a down payment down today and we signed a contract, like the beginning contract thing. So it's moving along. It's very exciting. It's an exciting time in my life. It's a nice little season we're in right now. Whoo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, friends. How do you get what to draw for the drawing game? I actually just Google a uh, Pictionary word generator and it's like a website that pulls up random words and it's fun. Um, I can't wait to see our new house. I love how you're calling it our new house. Thank you. Hello, Amy. Amy, Amy, Jamie. <laughs> Uh, Kalahari was also really good. Thank you for asking. We had an amazing time. It was so, so fun. We did have a little side trip to the hospital for five hours because my stepson got a huge splinter under his nail. <laughs> so that was just a little side trip, but we had a great time besides that. <laughs> Thank you for all the heart puffs and things. Yes, I am. Where am I from? Long Island, Long Island. Guys. I don't know if they're on here right now or if they if anyone knows who they are, but I keep getting cards. I don't know if you saw the video I posted today of me opening stuff from my P.O. box. Oh, shit. I didn't post one of my stories because I went on live before I posted it. It's all right. I'll do two tomorrow. Um, have not told the kids yet. Um, somebody keeps sending me cards. I got one for Valentine's Day, one for like, I'm sorry for your loss when when Tootie passed away. And I just got a St. Patrick's Day card, but they're never, it doesn't, they're not signed by anyone. Like it, they, they write something inside a few words, but they don't sign it. And the envelope itself, the return address just has the name Murphy on it. No address, no last name, no first, I don't know if that's a first name, a last name. I don't know what it is, but I keep, you saw the video. I keep asking like, who is this? So I can, cause I want to thank them. And I have no idea who's sending me these cards. But it's so cute. It's a ghost girl. <laughs> a ghost. <laughs> Secret admirer. No return address. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy for feeling so lonely. Oh, let's play the game. I'm squirreling again. Try. I'm crazy. <laughs> Thank you for the heart puffs. You could listen to my accent all night. <laughs> Brooke, thank you for the yak. All right. Let's open up the drawing game thing. Let me get it ready. Whee! Okay. The cards could be from the future. Ooh. Persevere! Thank you so much for the super sticker! I appreciate you. Hey, what's up? Uh, no. What? Do you have an internet? I don't think so. Okay. Are you why what's going on? Uh I think you're disconnected on my game, but that's just the game. Am I like was I am I or was I lagging for anybody? Have any internet stuff? And it's just the game. They're saying hello. Hi guys. 
There's your picture. There's Uncle. Yes, just a little bit. Well, TikTok always lags, though. For a minute. Hi, guys. Oh, Haley, look. He's got his shirt on. He was wearing it. He wasn't joking when he said he would probably wear it all week. Yep. <laughs> Not for you. I froze once, but that's it. Okay. Then it's me. Good here. Good here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Look, it's so handsome. Look at this face. It's such a handsome face. Nope. Um Baby, guess what? You doing your picture? We're getting a house. Yeah, we are. We're getting a <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you shooting me? I don't know. You're just about to get hype. <laughs> You're about to get hype. Do it, get hype. I'm I now it's forced. <laughs> My daughter's wearing her carry-on way my wayward shirt today too. Yes. Um. Yes, we're playing the drawing game. All right. Do you want to draw something? Sure. All right. Uncle Matrix is going to draw the first one. Hold on. We're going to get it ready. Is he from Jersey? No, he's from here, Long Island. Long Island. Long. You, you sound like Schmidt right there. I don't know why. <laughs> I know that's what I was doing. <laughs> Long Island. L I R R, you dirty old bitch. <laughs> Billy Joel. Billy Joel again for good measure. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get my drawing thing. Uh, uh, Pictionary word generator. Which one do you wanna do? Easy, hard, medium, super hard, really Let hard? Everybody pick. We're gonna do hard. I picked for you. All right. Uh, do you want to sit? No, I got it. Are you sure? Yep. All right. Is that what we're doing, that word? Yeah, well, hold on. I, I, I got to put it on the screen. We're doing the game time. Look, it's the draw ring game. <laughs> draw ring. Hold on. Why is this not working? Oh, because it has to be this one. Okay, cool. There we go. The draw ring game. The draw ring game. Hello, McFly. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. All right, you go first. Generate. Do that one. Okay. Okay. Here's the first. Here's the first one. That's not a straight line. We're gonna do that again. <laughs> Start. Try not to go in this little corner because that's where I am on TikTok. Okay. That, that's where our faces is. Our. We're just going to do this. How does Uncle Matrix say drawing? Drawing. He says it the same, bitches. I mean, glitches. This. Road. Road. This. Road. And then we'll go here. And we're just going to use shapes. Truck. House. Semi. That's not 18 bad. wheeler. It does look like that, but it's not. <laughs> so you both say it wrong. At least you're united. We do not say it wrong. Okay. Do this. All right. I'm I'm checking your drawing, and I'm checking the uh, carriage. Okay. Ooh, people are getting it. Some people are getting it. All right. This is here. Ice cream truck. They are usually like this. A lot of people are getting it. People are getting it? Yeah. A lot of people color. are getting You're coloring it and everything. Look at that. Fancy. We getting it? Yep. We got it. What was the answer? You want to tell them? RV. It was an RV. I was just starting to get into all the details. You, <laughs> you really went a little crazy. RV. RV. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to let you guys. You leaving? To it. Yep. Okay, you gonna go kill some bugs? If I can. For for democracy. For democracy? Yeah, if I can. But... Hell divers. I'm having a little trouble staying in the game. I keep getting kicked out. Oh, okay, love you, bye. Oh, bye. Where's the cats? What? Where's the cats? There's one in the bed. I only got one? I think you only got one. She looks upset. I'm tired. Love you. Okay. Ha ha ha. My butt. Okay. That's a bad RV. <laughs> all right. Your son loves that game. Yep. It's all the rage right now. 
All right, ready? Word number two is going to be, what will it be? Who knows, what will it be? It'll be something, you'll watch me draw it on the screen. How do I draw that? Okay, here we go. Bye. Um, okay. This is the next one. It go, no, why does he have this color so silly? It goes like this. Like this, like this, and this. Whoop, 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 whoop. What's that? Oh, YouTube got it. Somebody on YouTube got it. Now someone on TikTok got it. Everybody's getting the words. Tell me something good. <laughs> yes, my friends. That thing for gymnastics. Very specific, Amanda. <laughs> it is a balance beam, my friends. Balance beam. What will the next one be? All right. Mmm, we're gonna do one more. You guys better get this or I swear to God. <laughs> Sissy! M. Lady Designs. That's my sister, TikTok. You probably know that already, a lot of you. There she is, my beautiful sister. <laughs> we're playing the drawing game. We're on the last one. Everybody guess. Ready? Are you ready? Sister, sister! Let's go. Okay. You guys better get this. You're probably not going to get it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm laughing because this might be the yak all over again. Can you guys put the picture of the yak in the chat, please? So that my sister can see the yak. Thank you for putting the yak in the chat. <laughs> uh, is anyone getting this? <laughs> um, oh, this will help. Maybe. Does this help? Does that help? Um, me in the morning. <laughs> a person fell in mud. It is not a hedgehog. It is not an anteater. Oh, somebody on YouTube got it. Someone on YouTube. It is not Snuffleupagus, although that is probably close. Someone else on YouTube got it. All right, YouTube is getting it. And I don't know if they're cheating off each other, but they're getting it. TikTok, come on, you got it. How about if I draw this? Will this help? Um, what if I draw this? <laughs> the newest emote. <laughs> a fraggle from a rock. <gasps> oh, wait. Yes. You guys are getting it on TikTok. It does have legs. I just didn't draw the legs. I didn't think you needed them. I'm going to tell you. My sister got it. A new Pokemon. It is a woolly mammoth without legs. That is a, <laughs> a woolly mammoth. And I was just thinking about this part of it really does look like a Dr. Seuss character. Is it a germ? No. <laughs> when you did the hair, I thought that, yes. Uh... <laughs> It's the yak all over again. I couldn't remember what it was called. That's why I said extinct elephant. I didn't even see that you said extinct elephant. <laughs> it's the yak's cousin. Someone said a coffee stain. <laughs> okay. All right, my friends, please tell me how many did you get right? And if you did not get all of them right, which ones did you not get correct? And we are going to snorks. <gasps> 
Oh my God, yes, snorks. That's exactly what I'm thinking of, is a snork. Exactly what I'm thinking of. Okay, uh, YouTube, I'm going to give you one ad and then we're going to start stories. Oh, <sighs> meowsers. What did you send over here? <laughs> what did you send, my sister? Something with a crocheted ninja star? I'll have to watch that later. Three, but the bounce beam because I cheated on the other ones. <laughs> I got to... I got the mammoth because someone else guessed it. Yes. I still think it was Snuffleupagus. Just joined, but got the beam right as a former gymnast. Nice. You have to give them ads on YouTube. I don't have to give them ads, but that is how. Oh, shit. It's the puzzle piece. I got it. Inactivity. Jess knows what I'm talking about. Inactivity. Friends, TikTok, I'm going to tell you right now, we have been online for one hour and we are not even at 100,000 likes. You better get your shit together. You better get it together. It's free. Likes are free. Tap that screen. <laughs> it is free. <laughs> um... Ads, <laughs> we are. Um, you got Instacart also, Big Lots. <laughs> You're trying. Um, holy smokes. My brain just farted really hard. I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, I don't have to give them ads on YouTube. I give them ads on YouTube because that's how I that's like how I make money on YouTube. And I could just have them go. They normally just put them in by themselves. But um, I don't want to have stories interrupted by an ad. So I pop them in whenever I remember. And people normally remind me like, hey, put an ad in because they want to support me. Joni, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch community. We are so happy to have you. Everyone, welcome Joni to the Glitch community on YouTube. I'm not watching YouTube. I got ads, but I don't know what. No, no worries. You don't have to tell me what your ads are. It's just a fun thing that we do. Do you hear the alarm on your end when the puzzle pops up? Yes, I do. Did you hear it? You guys hear it too or no? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Yes. I'm about to read the first story, Terry. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, I hear it. That's what got my attention because it was like ding, 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 ding. Is that a setting? I, th I think you just have your sound up. I never turned on a setting, Jess. So if there is a setting, I don't know about it. It just like automatically went. Okay. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. What the fucking shit? One of my cats is trying to get out to get the shit out of me. All right. We're looking up the first story is Caitlin on YouTube. House activity lately. House activity lately. Lonely, I'm so lonely. Have nobody to call my own. House activity lately. All right, we got it. Let's bring it over here. Then we bring you over here. This is Anti Matrix Live, Mr. Steve Collins. Welcome. I almost sent in a story, but I think it was the SpaceX launch. I hope. <laughs> Thank you, Chantel. <laughs> you are here. Okay. Let me just take a little sippy. Thanks, Mr. Steve Stephen Collins. Friends, thank you so much for all the heart puffs. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you, Joni. I appreciate. <laughs> Emily. Have I ever done musical theater? Your voice is beautiful. Thank you so much. No, I have not ever done musical theater. I would have loved to do musical theater because I love to sing, but I am too chicken shit to sing in front of people. I did do chorus. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
We are starting house activity lately, and we're starting at 1, 10, 05. Here we go. Hey, Auntie. Hi. I heard you didn't have much of a list, so I wanted to write in. Oh, this was last time. Okay. So for starters, recently, my sister's cat passed away. I'm sorry. He loved her so much, and we have come to the conclusion that we don't think he left us. He's buried on our property, so it's a high possibility. Lately, I have seen small shadows near the floor flash by like a cat running by. There's also been multiple times I've seen the indent of something jump and sit on the spot on the back of the couch like Mr. the cat used to. My sister has also said that she's felt him get up in the bed with her and lay down next to her just like they used to. We really don't think he ever left her. Next story. Caitlin has sent stories before about stuff that's going on in her house. So she's just giving updates like a just little things that have happened next story every time you go live we throw you in our tv on the living room and pile up to watch you so that means my son will lay down with me and fall asleep normally in the beginning of the live when everyone is just chatting well like the last two to three lives that you've done we have had to leave and turn it off early because for some reason my son will wake up and scream bloody murder during the midst of a scary story oh my god it's weird because he really will sleep through the drawing game she wrote draw ring <laughs> chatting and even the sweet mildly weird stories but the super paranormal ones or super scary ones he will react to them from his sleep and just scream and cry until i turn the tv off oh then it's like an instant he's fine and goes back to sleep he loves your voice so it can't be that he likes to watch along with us sometimes but it's only been the recent lives and the super scary stories coincidence i don't know interesting Last story, a little reminder, our house is close to 100 years old. It has past relatives ghosts still there. I've been trying to start my spiritual journey and been meditating and calling forth to help, uh, calling forth help from my ancestors. One of the things I've been doing is asking for them to help us find things that we've lost and it's been kind of working. My husband misplaced something. We talked about it out loud and said, dang, we really need to find that. Some help would be nice. Then the next day, it was right there in the open in our bedroom. It's also happened with just small things. Our house seems to eat things. And the only way we've been finding them lately is by saying out loud, I really need to find blank and then we can find it. The ghosts here have been pretty active with that and just showing that they are here. I've seen their shadows walking around just oh so casually and it's kind of like we're just fully coexisting now. It's kind of awesome. I know these stories weren't anything special, but I appreciate you for reading them, love. <sighs> Thank you. That's really weird that your son is like just sitting up in the middle of the stories and screaming. To add to the end of the story of mine, we also had to start keeping our bathroom door shut because it keeps closing by itself at random hours of the night. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Yep. The S walkers are scary. The stories are penetrating his dreams. Ooh, I don't like that. Craziness. Thank you so much for sharing your stories from the house. <laughs> you did, Jess. Let me take a look. Um, hold on. We're going to vote. Did you like that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? That is so super weird about your son. And I like that your uh, your ghost friends are helping you find stuff. Super duper. Red on live. All right, our next story is going to be Ashley on YouTube. Random tomatoes. Random tomatoes. Also, friends, I apologize for the lack of a YouTube video last Friday, a Freaky Friday YouTube video, but I did not have time because I was on vacation. But I did record one today. I will be editing it tomorrow, and you will have one on Friday with 10 new stories. There's some good ones in there, too. There's some good ones. But, 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 but. You only missed one story, Melanie. One story. I just want to make sure that you are still here, Ashley. Ashley, on YouTube, please just let me that, know that you're still here so I can read your story.
I got the live notification, but then I forgot. <laughs> Friends, thank you so much for the gifts you're sending. I'm so sorry I'm missing them. I'm looking down, I'm reading, but I really, really super appreciate all of you. Thank you so, so much. I have been live for about one hour. Ashley is here and we are looking for random tomatoes. And I am also letting out my cat because she really wants to leave the room. I'm just getting this ready. Random tomatoes. Oh, d thank you, Jess, for reminding me. Holy shit, I'm so stupid. No, not I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. What? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, our lovely own Jess called cards, one of my friends and moderators, <laughs> sent me a short little mini thing on Discord. Can I share it? <laughs> can I, sh can I share your spooky story? That's your one sentence spooky story. I know, Brooke. I know, Brooke. It just comes out sometimes. And then I correct myself almost immediately. Yes, please. Okay. Um, <laughs> I saw a boat in the sky today. It was cruising up there and making a wake too. I'm embarrassed to say how long it took me to realize it was just an airplane. Cold meds for the win, because she has a cold. <laughs> Dora, my merch is actually, if you click on, uh, click on my face, you're on TikTok, right? Click on my face and click on my face again and click on the link in my bio, which is tessicavision.com. And my merch is one of the links in there. Please, friends, I do have merch. Go buy some. Anti-Matrix merch. <laughs> I'm going to let this cat out and then we're going to be reading Random Tomatoes. Bye, sissy. I love you. Bye. Okay, you want to leave? I think Natasha was having FOMO because she uh, has to be doing what all the other cats are doing. And she uh, was the only cat in this room. So I think she realized she was alone and she's like, oh, my God, what are the other cats doing? Meow, 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 meow. I need to leave. <laughs> Stupid. OK. All right. Random tomatoes. We are starting random tomatoes at... One seventeen. Nope, I lied. One eighteen. Oh five. Here we go. Hey, Auntie. Hi. Wanting to write in a little short story about random tomatoes my family and I found in a bag on our doorknob. So here we go. A little background. My grandpa on my father's side was a farmer and planted tomatoes, potatoes, corn, and more. I have never liked tomatoes. However, my family was crazy over his tomatoes. You know how they say you can go to step by step from a recipe handed down in the family, but it will never taste like the original person's? Yeah, well, same with tomatoes. They knew his from, they knew his from store-bought. Anyways, my grandpa passed in Thanksgiving Day in 2010. Needless to say, we didn't have Thanksgiving that year. We all got up that morning, just lost over the fact that he was gone. That is, until we heard a knock at the door. And when we answered, no one was there, but there was a bag of tomatoes. We had a pretty long entranceway, so there's no way we didn't catch them before they left. My family says they tasted just like Paz did. I will forever think that that was his final goodbye. I have so many more stories of paranormal events. One day I'll send them all. Thank you for reading. Love you and all the glitch fam. Oh, that is so sweet. That is so, so sweet. I really honestly 100% think that that was your, your grandfather's tomatoes. Right? Love this. Oh. Um. Gristle in a, I'm going to read these first and then we'll see if we're going to take more stories after that. Okay. Tomatoes. That was very sweet. Oh, thank you so much for sharing that. Did, we're going to vote. Did you appreciate? 
that story. Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. That was so sweet. I have an ice maker story about my grandpa when my grandma passed away. Lonely. I'm so lonely. Natasha is my girl. I know. I once seen a dog Rottweiler and started walking faster. Then I got closer. It was a trash bag in the wind. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. I'm not trying to get excited like until it's done, 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 done. But it's exciting. It's an exciting time. No, you only missed two stories, Thalia. You only missed two. My mama died in 1993, and I have found a random penny from her birth year of 1960 every year since. Pennies from heaven. That's so sweet. That is so sweet. Oh, my goodness. Our next story. Hello, Miranda. Stephanie. Stephanie with the Natasha's. With the Natasha emote. Um... I tried saving a dog in the road, but when I got close, it was a coyote. Oops. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, next is going to be Andrew from TikTok Beyonce concert. Andrew is the one that told me to read it anyway. But, Andrew, are you here just out of curiosity? Sing pennies from heaven. Uh, I don't remember the words. Wait. Pennies from heaven for you and me. Every time it rains, it rains. Do -do 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 -do. Don't you know it's cloud contains? Do -do 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 -do. Every time it rains, it rains. Do -do -do -do. Don't you know it's cloud contains? Do -do 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 -do. Right? Is that that's that song, right? Da -na 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 -na. All over town, all over town, all over town. That one. <laughs> An umbrella upside down doodly bop i can't think of it right now it's like not right in my brain okay Joni, i think my darling that you might not be caught up with the live friends on tiktok we are also live on youtube if you're interested in that almost <laughs> okay is andrew here i know you love natasha oh that's okay we're gonna read he told me to read it anyway so we're gonna read andrew's Yes, I know it is. <clears throat> That's exactly what I'm thinking of, Emily. You should make a necklace from the pennies you found and drill a tiny hole and thread them onto a chain. That's a very cute idea, Gemma. All right, hold on. Let me get the next story. We read this on live. And now we will get the one called Beyonce concert. Beyonce. Oh. Okay. Ooh, hello. Hello, computer. Three. Beyonce. Concert. Um, I just want to give you guys an update we are in story number three which is Andrew's Beyonce concert in case you want to know where you are in line next we have number four Brooke from YouTube a visit from a friend then we have Liz K from YouTube for number five astral projection and a ghost story number six is Dharma from TikTok green eyes number seven is Kayla from TikTok scary knowing you're dreaming number eight is vibes from TikTok must be Elm Street syndrome that is what we have right now on our list you have them in your jewelry box. Turtley! Woo -woo! Okay. We are doing a Beyonce concert. And we are starting this one at 124.33. Here we go. Hi, Auntie Matrix. Hi. The story is kind of long and random, but it still had me shook for a while. Back in September, Three friends of mine and myself went to Beyonce's Renaissance tour in Houston. I had a costume for it and everything. Before I left, I made sure everything was off. Keep this in mind. 
I drove to my friend's house and we carpooled to the concert. We entered the stadium and there was a shit ton of people coming in, but that's besides the point. About, I want to say, 45 minutes later, I already had to use the bathroom. So I went to go use the restroom and when I walked back out, the whole stadium was empty and dark. What? All I could hear was a buzzing sound, almost like an electric toothbrush. Next thing I know, I'm back in my spot in the stadium and Beyonce was back on the stage. For the rest of the show, I was just confused, but I still enjoyed it. It doesn't end here. So we left. I didn't mention anything to my friends. As soon as I get home, all of my furniture was completely gone. My plants were gone. The house was empty and I heard the same buzzing noise again. A few seconds later, I was in my bedroom and everything was back, but all the lights were on. I specifically shut them off. I thought I was fucking losing it, so I just went to bed. After that, everything was normal. I didn't mention this to my friends until recently and thankfully they believed me. But anyways, what do you think this was? I've had multiple encounters in my dreams, but never had something like this happen while I was awake. And wait, because then there was also a an update. Sorry, I'm going to take this off the screen, uh, YouTube, just because I can't show it without the email address for Andrew's privacy. I completely left out a crucial part to the story, and I just remembered about it. So when I told my friends about this, I had one friend say that she saw this light under the stall in the bathrooms before the concert. I remember her saying that lights were moving around in a strange way, like they were hovering over the floor in the stall. And I wanted to write this to you because I really wanted to see if you knew what the hell this was, because I'm freaking out just typing this. Okay. Hold on. Wait, why did you say Illuminati? So the lights would say to me, aliens, but that's not what I thought immediately, right? Immediately, I thought because everything was like different and the buzzing noise, it gave me like an astral projection vibe or like a a switched uh, timeline or um, dimension or whatever kind of vibe. You know what I mean? Especially with that noise, the buzzing noise. Yes, there are conspiracy theories that she's Illuminati. I guess that's what they're talking about. But um, but then talking about the lights in the bathroom stall, I don't know if that's just like something different or coincidence. I don't think there'd be like aliens hiding in the bathroom, right? Like under the toilet. <laughs> Timeline, you thought, same thought, parallels of all the places. What is Langoliers? People are saying that on both YouTube and and TikTok. What is that? Seeing into a different dimension, like visually and audio, maybe Measy. Yeah. That's like, that's the vibe that I was getting. It's a Stephen King book. Oh, I don't know. That's the vibe that I was getting. But the lights in the bathroom is throwing me off now. I don't really know. Aaron and Chelsea, just in time for stories for the first time ever. Welcome, Aaron and Chelsea. Interesting. That's really crazy. How does that not fuck you up? All right. That's my question. Like when something like that happens, like this person just went on with their day. Like, yeah, they felt a little weird, but they went on with their day. That would fuck me up. I want you to go home. (laughs) It is time to go home. Now I'll be afraid of aliens and toilets more than spiders, Jordan says on YouTube. (laughs) All right. Either way, we are going to vote. Did we like that story? Did you appreciate, appreciate this story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on tickety, talkity, talk. We read this one on live. And our next story is going to be Brooke on YouTube. A visit from a friend. Brooke, my darling, are you still here? Yes, you are. Uh, Visit from a friend. Is it my friend came to visit? Uh, 
Hello, Anna. It's not. It's a, it's a shorter one again. We'll get some long ones at some point. No worries. We have plenty of time. It's literally 8.54 and I'm on story number four. This is a record for me. I'm doing really good. I'm proud of myself. Yours is long? Perfect. Dharma, I recall reading a story about green eyes in one of my YouTube videos and people were saying it was probably a cat. That's not you. It's a different it's a different one, right? Oh, I'm sorry, just me. I did. I started early. Missed you, Jess. Thank you. Ooh. Dharma, yours is not long either, babe. It says sorry, it's a long one, but it's not long. You started early. I did start quite early. Okay. We are mm -hmm. reading a visit from a friend. I will tell you, there is one that I read. I just recorded today for the Freaky Friday YouTube video this week, and it was really long. I feel like it took me like 15 or 20 minutes to read it. It was super long. I've literally tapped my way out of the live four times tonight. <laughs> Your birthday was yesterday. Peace. Happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday. Dear peace. Happy belated birthday to you. My goodness. My thank you so much for all the heart puffs, my friends. We are so close to being done with the heart puffs. <laughs> Jess, we love your long stories. We love them. Mandy, so excited you started early, but dang, I missed stories. Happy to be here now. I hope life has been more enlightening for you recently with all that's been going on. Yes, thank you, Mandy Joe. Okay, we are reading a visit from a friend, and we're starting at 1 46. Here we go. Hello, Antimatrix. Hi. Recently, while watching a live replay, there was a story that reminded me of my own experience. So here it is. I had a very vivid dream of my friend coming to my house. At this time in life, he was on... Oh, sorry. I forgot. There's trigger warning for drug use and OD. Um, I had a very vivid dream of my friend coming to my house. At this time in life, he was on drugs, H. And I was pregnant with my second child and didn't want my children around that, so I hadn't seen him in about six or seven months. Well, in my dream, I hear a knock at my door late at night like I was woken from my sleep. I went, I went to answer the door, and it's him, except he doesn't look right, and he has bugs crawling in his hair. I tell him he can't be here, and he needed to leave, and I shut the door. I've always regretted this part. He knocked again, but I just stood there with my back to the door, and then he left. Well, I didn't wake up. I'm sorry. Well, I wake up, and I get a phone call from his brother, but I didn't answer because I had to get ready for work. He texted me immediately, telling me I needed to call him. I asked if it could wait, and he said no. So I called him back, and he told me that they found his brother passed away outside behind an apartment complex about 10 minutes from where I lived. I always questioned if I had just let him in, would he still be here? Was it really a dream? It had to have been. It was light out when I woke up. I didn't recall waking up during the night. I want to say I was taking a nap before work when I had the dream as I worked second shift, but I can't say for sure. The big thing for me was that I saw the bugs crawling in his hair and then finding out that he passed outside. Was he coming to tell me he passed? I often think about this and often told myself that I should have let him in. Thank you for reading. I'm so sorry for your loss. I think it was a dream, but I think he was, I personally think he was maybe visiting you in his dream to let you know that he had passed. Maybe in case someone didn't find him. 
and the bugs were in his hair because he was outside when he passed. That's my guess. I'm sorry for your loss, though. That's heartbreaking. Yes. Agreed. Visitation dream for sure. He was letting you know he was okay. I don't know about the bugs. I think he was already past at that point and just saying goodbye, but you can always tell him sorry. That's true. You can say sorry still. I think you made the right choice not letting him in. Don't feel bad. Exactly my guess too. Coming to say goodbye. Sorry for your loss. It's not her fault. It's not your fault, people are saying. I think maybe he was lost and he didn't know he was dead. Oh, that's also a possibility. Good evening, Raph. Why is there always bugs in stories? I'm not sure. Emily, I can add you to the list. You are number nine. Let me write you down. Haunted house. Got you. I appreciate you guys. We appreciate you too. The bugs remind me of being laid to rest in the ground. Bye, Mama. Enjoy your dinner. Hello, Usha. Hello, Mariah. Yes, we are sorry for your loss. Thank you so much for sharing. We are going to vote. Oops. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. And I'm going to put this one away. We read this one on live. Our next story is going to be Liz K on YouTube, Astral Projection, and a ghost story. Liz, are you still here, my darling? Please let me know. Please let me know. Are you here, Liz? Yes, she is here. All right. Astral projection and a ghost story. I appreciate all the stories, to be honest. I love that. You missed four stories. I started early today in general. I started, I got on live at like 7.30. Okay, Liz, no worries, no worries. Um, okay, I'm looking for astral projection and a ghost story. Whoa, what did I do? What did I? I made a boo boo. A boo boo. Where is the? Sorry, I'm having. So when I search for something in an email. Um, and then I find the email when I go in there, the words I searched for are highlighted in yellow in the email. It's like a thing that, um, that Gmail does. And there's a button that I press normally that says to turn off highlighting so that it's not highlighted. And I can't find that button. <laughs> I'm going to try it again. Hold on. Oh, well, my, uh, my keyboard died. Hold on. I got to plug it in. Oh my God. My butt. Ugh. I do have a question. Why do we do the polls? If you don't mind me asking, it's just a fun interactive, um, portion. It's just something interactive to do to get people involved. I actually have an idea for uh, Mandy Kalahari was great. Thank you so much for asking. I actually have an idea for uh, like a scale instead of a, like a these little votes doing like a I don't know how I would do it, though. Like a, I was going to call it like the chill factor and it'd be like how scary you think something was. And people could like say 
what number, like what chill factor number. Does that make sense? This is an idea I have floating around in the in my brain. In my brain. Huh. Huh. I gotta plug my keyboard in. It's dead. My keyboard has died. My keyboard. You love that idea? It's a cool idea, right? But it doesn't always work, right? Because um, a lot of the stories, like the last story, was not scary. But I think that's a pretty cool idea. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> it's on the old idealist. I have a lot of ideas, guys. I constantly have ideas. And being able, having the time uh, to execute them all is, is another story. But I do do my best. Do do. <laughs> Such a child. Mother Gaia, can you hold that wire for me? Thank you. You just sounded like the Honey Bun Sugar Plum song, girl. Sugar pie, honey bun. That or that's something else. You know that I love you. I can't help myself. I love you and nobody else. Astral projection and a ghost story. Hitting out my heart. You come and you go. Where is the fucking button? Motherfucking. Where is the damn button? Am I crazy? There is a button. Aw, it's me, Glow. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Hello, Candy J. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yes, Jess. Use the same, but have a choice for small chills, average chills, and big chills. Ooh, that's a good idea. I kissed it a thousand times. Where is the damn button? <laughs> this is literally driving me crazy all right you're just gonna have to have the um the things on it the highlighting is just gonna have to stay there and i don't know why it's highlighting these certain words it's highlighting the word anti-matrix which i didn't even and the word my, that's okay. <laughs> Ta -ta, thank you. All right. Okay, here we go. Boo, 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 boo. Shiba, ding, 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 Astral projection and a ghost story. And we're starting it at 1 hour, 43 minutes, 23 seconds. Hi, Into Matrix. Hi. I love you in this community you've built. Yay. I have two stories. Story number one, my boyfriend's astral projection. I want to start out by saying my boyfriend is the sweetest, purest soul. He has told me so many things over the past few years that have led me to believe that he has some sort of psychic abilities. I've always felt like I am sensitive, but more in the sense that I can read people's energies, whereas he is psychic where he will have random premonitions, attract supernatural things, and even astral project. When he first told me the story about him astral projecting, it caught me off guard, so off guard, especially because he didn't know that that was what he was doing and he was talking about it so casually and innocently. We were talking about supernatural things and dreams and he casually mentioned how when he was younger, he used to have dreams that he was stuck on his ceiling, watching himself sleep and would float downstairs and be able to see his dad and listen to his conversations on the phone or see what he was watching on TV just casually. Just casually talking about that. He said he always tried to scream to his, uh, he said he always tried to scream to his dad to try to get his attention and would even scream hello in his face, but his dad never heard or saw him. When he told me, 
When he told me this, my jaw was literally on the floor and I said, do you understand that you were astral projecting? And he said he didn't even know what that meant. This man literally astral projected whenever he wanted to, and he didn't even know what he was doing, and he just did it for fun. A more recent story about it, it was a couple of months ago, my ex randomly called me, and I didn't answer, obviously, but it was so random and just made me feel so uneasy for some reason. That same day when I got home, before I could even mention it to my current boyfriend, he randomly asked if I knew someone named Jack. I said, yes. Why? And he said because he had a dream that someone named Jack was calling me and he felt uneasy about it and felt like he needed to ask me. I was shook to my core and I asked him when he had the dream and he said an hour ago when he was taking a nap. That's the exact time that Jack called me. So my boyfriend was literally astral projecting to me in his dream and saw him calling me in real time and even took on the same uneasy emotions that I had What? I don't. (laughs) Bet you bet not ever cheat. Seriously. Like what? So he still does this. It wasn't just when he was a kid. He just still does this to this day. And it's just like. I wish that would be so cool. Right? Supernatural, real life supernatural spy abilities. Oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, that was the story number one. I'm so jealous, Liz. I am so jealous. <laughs> it is creepy. It is creepy, but also I'm jealous. I would love to be able to do that. Okay, story number two a friendly ghost story. No, it's the same boyfriend, right? Isn't that a different boyfriend? That did it? No, it was the same boyfriend, right, Liz? I would never cheat. He's my soulmate for real. You have La Negra. We are on story number five right now. Same boyfriend. I thought so. Okay. Story number two, a friendly ghost story. Another time we were house slash dog sitting for my best friend Erica and sleeping at her house for a few days while she was on vacation. A little backstory is that I grew up always going to Erica's house every day after school to hang out and it was just a known thing that her house was haunted. The person that owned the house before her family, Mr. B, died in a fire in the house. So when weird things happened, like doors opening and closing on their own or lights flickering on and off by themselves, etc., it was a known thing to just blame it on Mr. B. No one was ever scared of him, but everyone knew that he was around. Anyway, fast forward to my boyfriend and I house sitting. When we got there, we walked up the stairs and into the guest room to put our stuff down. We shut the door behind us and put our things down and sat on the bed to decompress for a bit. Less than a minute later, we heard loud footsteps coming quickly up the stairs. My boyfriend looked at me with a glimpse of fear in his eyes, which is unusual for him because he's not scared of anything really, and said, I thought you said we were here alone. And I said, we are. And before I could say anything else, we heard three knocks on the bedroom door. We both looked at each other frozen in fear. We couldn't even say anything to each other. And after about five seconds, there were three more knocks. We just sat silently on the bed for about a minute before I mustered up the courage to say, that's just Mr. B. My boyfriend again said, I thought we were house sitting and no one's here. So who's Mr. B? And I said, we are and no one else is here. Mr. B is the former owner of this house who died in the backyard before Erica's family moved in. I told him that Mr. B is friendly and that I'd tell him more about him later, but he was just probably checking up on us and letting us know that he's here. Seeing fear in my boyfriend's eyes and face like that was so scary to me because he's quite literally not scared of anything. That experience was extremely uneasy. Even though I knew of Mr. B, I never had a personal experience with him before. I feel like my boyfriend's energy enhances my energy and vice versa, and we attract weird things when we're together. We even have really good luck when we're together and win a lot of things. Thanks again for this community. I appreciate you. The end. Hi. Hello, Melissa. I am on. The CIA would love him. That is very true. That is very true. Play the lottery. You should play the lottery. Oh, my God. Mr. B. Mr. B, that's so weird. Has your so wait, has your boyfriend ever experienced any other um like interactions with ghosts or spirits himself before? 
Hi, Auntie. I just arrived. Hello, Jenny. We are on story number five. We just read story number five. Mr. B sounds harmless. I love him. He does sound harmless. The three knocks, though, is kind of scary. Hi, Zoe. The three knocks is like, it's like demonic sometimes. It's scary, you know. Yes, he said an old farmer ghost screamed in his face before. Was he scared of that? Did that scare him? I have questions. Did you have anything else while you were there? He didn't want no funny business. He wanted attention. First time on your live, you're my favorite. Hello, Inked in Color. Welcome. Thank you, Sage. It's from Target. When he was sleeping, uh, when he was sleeping at a friend's house that lived in a farm. Nope, not scared. That's interesting that he wasn't scared at a literal old farmer ghost screaming in his face, but he was scared at Mr. of Mr. B. Why is it always three knocks? I don't know. I am live on YouTube. Also, Katie Johnson. Yes. Hello, Megan Heston. What's up? Oh, crap. You got COVID? Man, I hope you feel better so fast. Yes, Melissa. Yes. Yes, friends on TikTok. I am also live on YouTube if you prefer it. The stories are on the screen there and it's a little bit better quality. We are going to vote. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. Did you appreciate those stories? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok. Okay, sounds good, Daniela. Also three scratches. Yes, threes is a thing. A mockery of the Blessed Trinity. Three knocks. Oh. <sighs> Guys, I am very full from dinner still. But my dinner had a lot of sodium in it. So my mouth, I'm very thirsty. And so I've been downing water. But now I'm really full from the water. But I'm still so thirsty. My mouth feels so dry, but I'm so full. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. He probably was more scared since he was with Liz. The farmer thing probably happened when he was alone. So his guard wasn't up as much. Got any ice in the freezer? Chew some gum. I know, but I can't be like chewing gum on camera. Room temperature water? <laughs> Brush your teeth. Shake and bake. I'm going to have to go get more water soon. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I do have Celtic sea salt. Actually, I should pop some salt on my, under my tongue and drink a little water. It'll probably replenish me, right? Really, Brielle? Your body absorbs room temperature water better and faster than cold? I didn't know that. Hod candy. Do you have any hod candies in your pocketbook, Grandma? <laughs> Thank you for sharing your story, Liz. Our next story is going to be Dharma from TikTok Green Eyes. Dharma, are you still here, my darling? I love you too, Laura Salou, Lou Salou. <laughs> Can't read your name. Thank you, Courtney. Yes, Dharma is here. This house is clear. Okay, 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 okay. Let's find green eyes. Green eyes, green eyes. What's a pocketbook? A pocketbook is a purse. Oh, see, turn off highlighting is here now. That was really weird that it wasn't before. It's back now. Do it, Jesse. Do it. Hello, Cheryl. What days will I be on this week? I don't know. I do not. I have my kids tomorrow and Thursday, so I will not be on Wednesday or Thursday. There is a possibility I will be on either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Any combination of those. I have exercised the demons. Actually, this house is clear. It's not from Ace Ventura. It is from Poltergeist. And he is quoting Poltergeist in Ace Ventura. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? It's a dog's life. Thank you so much for subscribing. 
I appreciate you. Welcome to the Glitch Community TikTok, please. Welcome, everybody. I mean, welcome. It's a dog's life. You started dancing immediately. <laughs> okay. Next up, we are reading Green Eyes. Just to give you guys an update on where we are with stories, we are in story number six, Dharma from TikTok for Green Eyes. Then we will have story number seven, Kayla from TikTok, Scary Knowing You're Dreaming. Then we'll have number eight, Vibes from TikTok, Must Be Elm Street Syndrome. And then we will have number nine, Emily from YouTube, Haunted House. Courtney, thank you. Hello. It's Laura, my name, but in my country, it's like Firefly Liku. I still don't understand that. I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> Update the goal. You have one. Quantum immortality. Dog's life. You will be number 10. I wrote you down. And then I'm not going to take any more until after we read these and we'll see where we at. We are at time wise. Time wise. Update the goal. Ooh, okay. Nope, I didn't mean to pin it. God damn it, Jessica. Managela Mazeria. Let's totally do. Hold on. Um, let's do some, oh, let's do some lemon buddies. We haven't done lemon buddies in a minute. Love those little babies. Those little lemon buddies. Okay. Hello, Sheratina. Oh, thank you. That, that word means firefly. I got it. Did you just speak Italian? I'm in love. <laughs> yes, I did. I spoke a little Italian. Parlo un poco italiano. Un poco. Hello. Okay. Green eyes. Hello, it's your first live. Welcome. Person with a name that starts with an X. I cannot pronounce. Hello from Australia. Hello. Uh-oh, we have a check my private video. Do I have any mods over on um, TikTok? Yes, I do. Katie Baby, thank you so much. All right, we're reading Green Eyes, and we're starting this at 157.56. Here we go. Hi. Hi. So when I was about 11, me and my childhood best friend were in my little brother's room, and being kids we were, we had been, I'm sorry, being the kids that we were, we had been watching scary movies the night before. So the next night, we are being stupid and mucking around in the dark of my brother's room. It's pitch black with the door shut. And anyways, it was probably on at like 9 p.m., and we were sitting on the bed when all of a sudden, there was like these bright green dots that would have been about eye height level just walking up the hallway. Mind you, there is a wall between the room and the hallway and the door was shut. It was so scary. We managed to muster up the nerve to turn the light on. Safe to say it never happened again. But a week later, I was in bed and I felt my dad's hand touch mine. But my dad didn't live with me. I screamed and ran to my mom's room and she said it was a nightmare. But the odd thing was that when I looked out her bedroom window, it was still night. And by the time I walked from her room to the lounge room, the sun was coming up. So I think I might have jumped timelines or something. I don't know. It was crazy. But nothing like that has ever happened again. Thank you for reading my story. The end. No, no worries, no worries, no worries. Oh my God, stop, I'm turning the lights on. <laughs> First of all, thank you so much for sharing the live. Um, hold on. 
Okay, the green eyes. So the last story that I read with green that had green eyes, this person that kept seeing green eyes, I got some comments saying that normally green eyes is indicative of a cat spirit. But if you saw, hi Lily, but if you saw green eyes at like eye height, like person eye height, then I don't know. Then I have no idea. And then someone touched you, but it wasn't, they weren't there. Ooh. And then you, oh my God. And then, and then you walked out from your mom's room and the sun came up. That's so weird. Those were demon eyes demonized like a person walking up the hall that's so scary green eyes i've because i've never heard of green eyes before the last one that i read with green eyes that's like green eyes is so weird to me what made you think it was your dad that's a good question i was actually thinking that too what made you think it was your dad touching you me looking into my puppy's green eyes What? what it felt like his hands that's very interesting Ooh. could have been the person that could assist you for your dimension traveling that's an interesting take maybe i don't know the green eyes is really weird though guys super duper weird thank you so much for sharing your story did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. It sounded crazy. It sounded like really weird. Woo! Okay. Um, our next one is Kayla on TikTok. Scary knowing you're dreaming. Kayla, just confirm that you're still here for me, please. And thank you. I like doing this earlier time-wise because I have to get up early for work and I can enjoy more stories. Oh, Jody, More singing? What do you want me to sing? Kayla is here. All right. Let me write this down. Scary. Knowing. You're dreaming. I love you so much. I listen to your stories every day. Maybe all my friends listen to you. I love that. Thank you so much, Martina. Okay. Um, mm. I can't find it by that name. Um, Kayla, can you tell me what your email address is or when you sent it? Like what day you sent it or what the, your email address is, but leave off the at whatever.com. Like don't put at gmail.com because it'll block it. It'll block it. It will block it. So I can find your story. <sighs> story. Okay, thank you. Kayla Williamson, 17. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, found it. Found it, baby. I found it. Here it is. Scary knowing you are dreaming. Okay. We are starting this one at 
Hi. Hi. Huge fan. I listen to your stories every day. Thank you. So recently I've heard a few stories about knowing that you are dreaming, lucid dreaming, etc. I remember hearing that if you do realize you're dreaming that you should not tell any dream characters that you know it's a dream or you know you're asleep or something bad will happen. Yes. And I love these stories. I'm obsessed with these and I don't know why. Well, last night in my dream, I became aware that I was dreaming. In the dream, I was at a store, but suddenly didn't know what I was shopping for because all I had was a white puff balls in my hands. <laughs> when I tried to leave the store through the sliding doors, they led me into another store. This is when I realized I was dreaming. For some reason, I remembered what I heard about telling your dream characters, you know, it's a dream. Just then a woman passed me to enter the store I had just come out of. I threw the white puff ball at her. And when she turned around, I tried to say, I know this is a dream, but the words came out all muffled and weird. She then stared straight into my eyes as if she understood what I said and her face changed. Her eyes turned black and I got the feeling that she could really see me. I fell backwards and woke up immediately in a cold sweat and covered in goosebumps from head to toe. I was so scared and had this deep, unsettled feeling in my stomach. The rest of the night, I tossed and turned, thinking about her black gaze and the immense fear I felt when I knew she knew what I had said. I've suffered from night terrors and sleep paralysis in the past, so next time I know I'm dreaming, I will just be forcing myself awake and not talking to anyone. The end. Oh my God. Those... Literally, I am obsessed with these these stories, and I think it's because I, I, I still don't understand why these dream people get so mad and everything turns terrifying and scary. No matter what you guys say about your theories on that, I still don't. None of them really make that much sense to me. But oh my god, I have muffled talk often in dreams. Really, open doors in dreams until you wake up. Mama's tip to me. Interesting. B, that's a cool, that's a cool tip. I still get scared when I think about it. I I turn the light back on because nope. <laughs> Martina, thank you for the donut and thank you for the heart me. Oh. I get muffled when I talk in real life when I'm awake since I'm partly deaf. <laughs> My last lucid dream, I left by leaving, uh, just left by leaving the house I was in and turning around and flipping off the house. Interesting. I find a mirror because it's not me and it wakes me up. If you try to wiggle your toes, it usually works to wake you up. It's helped me with so many bad dreams. Sleep paralysis is horrible. Yes, that is crazy, my friends. My friends. Good night, Jesse. I hope you feel well. I hope you feel better. That was really scary. I really like those. The fact that their faces change. I've never had them get mad when I said it's a dream. Really? Really, Leah? It's so weird because there's are there are a lot of people that are like, that's never happened to me. But then there are so many more people that are like, it my dream turns terrifying which is crazy the only thing that happens in my dreams when i realize i'm dreaming is i can't stand up i get dizzy or go slow-mo and it's bothersome crazy thank you so much for sharing your story we are going to vote did you appreciate that story yes or no on youtube happy face or sad face on tiktok and I'm going to put this story away. And the next story we are reading is um, Vibes. Must be Elm Street Syndrome. I'm pretty sure I just saw you talk a few minutes ago, so you are here. Kiki, thank you for the two roses. Kimberly, thank you for the heart. Me, Yvette, thank you for the heart puff. Chels, thank you for the heart. And Yuri, oh, thank you for the lemon buddy. I love the lemon buddy. It's so cute. He just the cutest. He's just the cutest. Um, I'm going to pull the story up and then I'm going to give YouTube an ad and I'm going to go grab some more water because I am so, so thirsty. Um, can you just confirm with me, Vibes, that you are here? 
even though I'm pretty oh you are I just saw you I just saw you vote never mind um must be here we go lonely I'm so lonely let me put this one over here okay H must be Elm Street syndrome okay YouTube here's your ad everybody else talk about something why can't I think of a friggin <laughs> I literally think of a subject can't think of a subject what's your favorite dinosaur go <laughs> I'll be right back <laughs> Melissa, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Glitch community. Everybody, please, on TikTok, welcome Melissa to the Glitch community. Yvette, thank you for the corns and the tiny dinies. Alessandra, thank you for the tiny dinies. I appreciate you guys. And Martina, thank you for the team bracelets. Thank you for the team. Brachiosaurus, nice. I'll be right back. Pterodactyl, Stegosaurus, Blue from Jurassic Park. I have a, I would, I would get him, but her, but she's up here behind stuff. But I have a blue uh, pop figure. I need my butt donut. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay. Oh, my butt, my butt, my butt, my butt. T-Rex is the king. Hello, Lindsay. Thank you. Krista, wait. What are you so excited about? Let me see. I didn't see. Scrolling up. I went on a date over the weekend and it went really well. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. My tailbone has been hurt for literal months. Did you hurt yours? Hey, Derek. Thank you. Dizzy, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Glitch community. Please, TikTok, welcome Dizzy to the Glitch community. Welcome, welcome. Okay, we are reading our next story is Must Be Elm Street Syndrome. And we are starting this one at 2, 12, 59. Here we go. Thank you for sharing this story with all the others. Thank you for submitting it. Moral of the story. <laughs> the moral of the story is before everything else. Moral of the story, cannabis and stem rollers don't mix. Immediately after using it, I told my friend I was headed home to sleep this off because I was going cosmic. When I got inside the apartment, I went upstairs and planked my bed and pillow. Shortly after, I noticed movement behind me at the closed door and suddenly a Doberman on a chain walks through the door with the chain with a few translucent links. And if nothing more terrifying than an ugly, uh, than an extremely Uncle Lurch looking man with an old 1900s black suit on walked straight through the door and slowly walks over to my window on my other side. He didn't bother me at all and neither did the dog. So I started rebuking and praying because no, thank God my grandfather came into the room, rubbed my back and told me everything was going to be all right. He physically helped me to get up to the bathroom to wash my face facing the mirror. That was 2009. My grandfather passed in 2005. <gasps> I did not see that coming. <laughs> I did not see that part coming. I was like, oh, that's nice. 
<laughs> Your grandpa came and helped you. <laughs> the story actually got worse, but for a witch and a warlock next door, including the day my nephew died and went to hell. And I had to perform an exorcism and I saw ectoplasm in the spirit realm and my niece and nephew at two used to, this is a lot of things in like one sentence, friend. My niece and nephew at two used to see a dead man with a purple hand on the roof. Just let me know if you want more because I must be chosen by the universe to experience <laughs> some of the most strangest things. Take care, y'all. I think they were just listing all the weird all the weird things. Ectoplasm is so weird. I've never actually seen ectoplasm, only on Supernatural. <laughs> but I don't know if that's accurate or not. The way my eyeballs almost came out of my sockets when Grandpa came. Right? Right? I was like, okay. She saw some ghosts or who even knows? You said that you were super high, right? So like, who even knows if you were hallucinating or it was from the from that i don't know but then you're like oh my grandpa helps me and i'm like oh that's nice grandpa came in nope grandpa was dead that was not grandpa that was grandpa's ghost <laughs> i've only ever seen it on haunting in connecticut <laughs> oh my god her nephew went to hell apparently i don't know i would i mean i would love to have more details on some of these experiences ectoplasm makes me think of ghostbusters you say that your nephew died and went to hell and you had to perform an exorcism and you saw ectoplasm and then these your other niece and nephew saw a dead man on the roof with a purple hand i want to know what he passed out and died that's so crazy but what how do you know he went to hell I want to know what ectoplasm feels like. In my brain, it feels sticky. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Not really sticky. In my brain, it's like maybe mm, like a thick. I have real ectoplasm in a glass test tube. Long story. How did you get that? YouTube chat keeps freezing. Ugh. Right? We need all those stories. Hello, Dylan. This is some weird shit. He told me what he saw. And then I read the book of Enoch and I was like, um, he was not lying. Squishy. It's got to feel squishy. I need to know. I think it would feel like sticky, jello -y slime, right? It's super light spider web feeling. Oh, have you touched it, T-Boom? I think it would feel tar-like. I always guess it felt like slime. I think it feels like cloud slime. Cloud slime feels really cool. Hi, Allie. You both seen the ectoplasm. That's so crazy. You got a lot of crazy stuff happening with you, man. Anyone remember Nickelodeon Gak? I do remember Nickelodeon Gak. That's what I imagine. Hello, Amber. Couple of different times. What? You don't want to touch it? So this is all so interesting to me. Thank you for sharing those. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing those. Let me do the little poll over here. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on ticketed, 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 ticketed song. All right, and our next story is going to be, hold on, put this one here. Is Emily from YouTube Haunted House? Emily, please confirm that you are still here. I think you are right there, actually. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Vibes. It's because you lived it. It's because you lived it and you're like re-remembering it, you know?
Let me write this one down. Haunted house. And when we are done with the vote, with the poll, then hello, Larry. Then we will read this one of haunted house. Okay? Okay. The Pink Panther and I are exactly the same age. That's so cool. Okay, here we go. 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 We're reading Haunted House and we are starting it at 2 20 11. Got a few crazy paranormal stories, to be honest. Most recent one, though, is this one. So I had a 10 cent. Nope, doesn't say 10 cent. Where did I even read that? Those words aren't here at all. <laughs> I had a tent canopy. You know why? Because there's no punctuation. <laughs> I can't figure out where the sentences start. <laughs> okay. I had a tent canopy over my bed. It was like an actual tent. And the head of my bed is right up to the wall. So no space at all. And every day for a while, I would feel it move. Like one of the sticks undone by where it was touching the wall, but it didn't. So I ignored it. Then one day I was just sitting facing where I would feel it, where I would feel it, talking to my girlfriend. And I clearly saw a fist punch it where my head would have been if I wasn't moved in the middle of my bed. Obviously, I got shocked and scared, but didn't interact with it. But I did sleep with a Bible under my pillow and it eventually stopped. Then sometimes things like disappearing too and sometimes show up randomly like a few months ago. I went to the bathroom and showered and made sure everything was cleaned up from the floor. Then I woke up in the morning and I went to the bathroom again and there was two socks stuck together like how I wear them. I wear two socks on each foot. Wait, what? Why? And I lost the specific socks like months beforehand and totally forgot they existed. And I was home alone too. So I panicked and got weirded out and texted my dad asking if they were his, not knowing they were mine yet since, again, I forgot. And he said, no, he thought I put them there. And no, couldn't have been my service dog or my other dogs since they were locked up in other rooms for the night. Also, we kept the bathroom door closed, usually too, when the same morning, usually too, then the same morning, like not even a few minutes went by and I was making tea and I used two, two, two tea bags for one cup. So I took them out in advance and one of the counters on one of the counters and then heated up my water and turned around to grab the tea bags. But there was only one. I was already on edge due to the sock thing. So I shook it off and just grabbed another tea bag. like, nope, not today, Satan. <laughs> I say this in a joking way when I'm scared, but never found the tea bag that disappeared then disappeared probably the period should go there then when i was little i'm pretty sure i lived in a haunted apartment too since i would have the same nightmare where all the kids and i would be playing and then we would hear a siren and have to hide from the bad guys and me and a girl i was friends with would hide in the bushes so we would see a few guys walking around with guns and then i would wake up in real life the end Um, the socks thing is weird. Wait, why do you wear two socks? It was, it was a little, I'm not sure how to, yeah, why the socks? Why two socks on each foot? That's my, <laughs> that's my first question. It's weird though that they just showed up in the bathroom. It was it cold outside? I'm still stuck on the two socks. Everyone was stuck on the on the two socks. I wore two socks today and am tomorrow. Depends on my shoes and how cold it is. I can't sleep with socks. Feet get cold really easily, so that's why I do two socks. Okay, that makes sense. You know what? My feet do too. Um, and you use two tea bags. Do you like twos? You like things in twos? One of your tea bags disappeared. <laughs> I like the nope, not today, Satan. Stephanie, that doesn't always work. I don't know what happened to me, but 
just so over the past couple of years, my feet have gotten so much colder. Like, I mean, they're okay right now, but I'm talking about if I go out, like in, if it's snowing, right? And I have like two pairs of socks on and some boots, my feet will still get so cold they hurt. Now <laughs> you'll roast near for the socks and not the disappearing tea bag. Yeah, circulation problems, not the actual socks. Yes, that's what I figured, Emily. That's what I figured. Circulation stuff. That story disturbed my OCD. <laughs> you can't sleep with socks on either. I can't either. I actually put my my little tootsies out of the bed a lot. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. Sometimes two pairs of socks makes my feet colder than one pair. That's weird. That is really weird. The next one we have is Dog's Life. Quantum Immortality Dog's Life. Are you still here on TikTok? I bet you are. <laughs> Cal, okay, I do it every night. Need some iron for cold feet? You are, you are. Tonight, tonight. Let's see if we can find quantum immortality. All right. All right. Wee. You're welcome, Emily. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, is this it right here? Did you just send it quantum immortality? Um, dog's life. Cherry, is that you? Yes. Found ya. We gotcha. We gotcha. We gotcha. 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 We gotcha. We gotcha. I love a good quantum immortality story. Ooh, there's pitches. There's pitches. Tonight, a different dimension moved or took the socks and tea bags. Maybe, maybe, baby. Jamie, we're actually going to, I'm going to pick a couple more stories because it's actually only 951. So I'm reading the 10th story right now. And um, I'm reading the 10th story right now. And then I think we're going to play the drawing game, a round of the drawing game, and then we'll do more stories. So We'll do some more. What is your story? I'll write you down as number 11. Jamie from TikTok. Go. Costco makes good socks. You need the men's socks, though. I only sleep with socks on at work. At home, no socks. That's interesting. The drawing game. Marley wanted his hair brushed. <laughs> oh. Luddy. Weird dreams. Luddy, you can be number 12. The man in my doorway took my baby. Ooh. Rubster, what is yours? What's yours? You can be 13. What's the name of it? The sun moving different directions freaking me out. I need a theme tune for the drawing game. Oh my God, that would be so cool. <laughs> Martinique, we have not planned it yet. My guardian angel. Okay, I got you guys written down. Hey, Doxy. Gristle, I'm going to read a couple of other ones from people that have not had stories shared yet. We've shared a couple of your stories. Um, apparently, you shouldn't wear more than one pair of socks because it'll make your feet sweat and then they get even colder because they're wet. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Let's read this last one here, Quantum Immortality. Then we are going to play the drawing game, and then we'll read a couple more stories. Whee! Okay. Martinique got your name right first try. Whoop, whoop. No, that's okay, Gristle. No worries at all. 
I appreciate you sending them. Tonight. Emily, you do you, boo-boo. You know your body. You don't have to explain yourself to nobody. It's okay. Okay. Uh, let me turn off this. Dismiss. Hello, Maxine. <gasps> yes, persevere. Thank you for the lemon buddy. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. I love it so much. And I wanted to also say thank you to all these other things I haven't. Martina, thank you for the team bracelets. Just Mags, thank you for the heart me. Martina, thank you for the rose and the disco love. Kiki, thank you for the rose. Martina, thank you for the team bracelet and the heart puffs. Mel D, thank you for the cheer me up. Martina, thank you for the rose. Kat, thank you for the rose. Victoria, thank you for the rose and the heart me. Martina, thank you for the finger heart and the TikTok and the ice cream cones. Just petite. Thank you for the heart me. Brad attack. Thank you for the rose. Persevere. The lemon buddy. K King. Thank you for the lemon buddy. So cute. Brad attack. Thank you for the heart puff. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're reading Quantum Immortality and we are reading it at 2 30 46. Hi, Auntie. Hi. September of 2021. I was on the 840 freeway. I had a blowout while driving in my truck. I pulled to the side and crossed the emergency lane. I called for AAA roadside assistance. <clears throat> while sitting there, I noticed in my side view mirror a semi truck coming around the corner. In a flash, the semi broadsided me right in the driver's side where I was sitting. Everything went dark. Next, there were two young men pulling me from the right side of the truck. I was in shock. All the airbags were inflated and I could smell smoke. Then the highway patrol and the EMS and ambulance were all around me. EMS grabbed me. I was in shock and I didn't realize I was walking on a broken hip and pelvis. The highway patrol kept saying we don't know how she survived this crash. My life changed that day. I think I changed timelines that day. Ever since that day, I have been empathetic. I am also very spiritually in tune to entities around me. My family and friends seem different spiritually to me. I have discernment about people that I didn't have before. This new world is a very different post-accident. Post the accident. I will add pictures of the truck that I was in. After leaving the hospital, we went to salvage. Uh, we went to the salvage yard where my truck was towed to. The staff at the yard, the insurance company, and the police officers on scene met us there. I was on a walker, and we went to my truck, and everyone said, Lady, you shouldn't be alive. I thought to myself, what really happened? Sitting on the driver's side seat, sitting on the driver's seat they extracted me from was my cross. Everybody stared at the cross and said, Lady, your higher being saved you. They gave the cross to me to keep. I got my belongings out of the truck and left with my cross. I obviously still have a purpose here, even though it may be different than before the accident. I am a 32-year-old veteran nurse. Did I die that day? Life is different now. Thank you, Auntie. The end. Uh, Brooke, thank you so much for the super chat. Such an amazing community. I appreciate you. Um, That is crazy. I love a good quantum immortality story. I wonder what is different besides, so besides um, like the spiritual parts of you, does anything else feel different or look different? Like are the people different? Are your memories different? Hi, Stephanie. Yes. Hello, Christina. Oh, the pics. The pics. You want to see the pics of the truck? I'm sorry. Um, TikTok. Do I have you on the right setting? Okay, I do. All right. Pictures. This is the truck holy crap uh, stephanie thank you for the lemon buddy the way people act around me are so different also this is the truck my god oh my god and your cross was right there on your seat that's so crazy there's the cross 
Yes, great story. Glad you're all right. Maybe as a nurse, there is someone you saved or will save. In everything, give thanks. Wow. I thought it would be caved in. What do you mean? Thirty-two years as a nurse now. Wow, that is so crazy. So glad you're alive. And that's so crazy. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Cat, thank you for the lemon, buddy. Did you appreciate? Let's vote. If I can spell, did, did you appreciate? Nope, not yet. Appreciate that story, yes or no, on YouTube. A happy face or a sad face on TikTok. Angels are watching over you. Yes, yes, yes. You are definitely protected. Hello, Claire. Thank you for the lemon, buddy, Alicia. I think I died that day. You may have. You just may have. Quantum immortality. Come on, mama, you know I love you. Okay, we read this one. And then we are going to do... Oh, we're going to do the drawing game. Da, 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 da. We're going to do the drawing game. Five more lemon buddies to go. It's so weird that they are they call them lemon buddies. Like there's a D. Is it because it's supposed to be lemon drink? Like lemon D for the drink? You know what I mean? Is that what it means? Is that what it means? I don't even really know. Uh, what do you think over there? What do you think? Brad Attack, thank you for the heart puff. Mel D, thank you for the cheer me ups. Tracy Ann, thank you for the heart me. Tracy Ann, thank you for the rose and the cheer you up and the cheer up and the cheer up. Kiki, thank you for the rose. Alicia, thank you for the lemon buddy. Lemon drop drink, maybe. Claire, thank you for the heart puffs. I thought that's just how you said lemon. No, I say lemon like lemon, but they are called literally, they're called lemon buddies. Like it's L A M. L-E-M-O-N-D, buddy. <laughs> DC. <laughs> How late do your lives go? I normally try to get off before midnight. So, uh, And for me, it's 10 p.m. right now. So I have a little less than two more hours, probably around two more hours or so. Le monde. Le monde buddies. Okay, we're going to play the drawing game. So let me get set up for that. Yes, Kayla, thank you for the lemon, buddy. Game time, game time, game time, game time. Brad Attack, thank you for the lemon, buddy. Yes, I am in EST, Eastern Standard Time. I am on Long Island. Oh, sorry, I put this in the middle of the screen. Mama. Oh, found ya. Okay. Perfect. Totally perfect. Perfect. Hey, Mary Yam. Michigan there. Hello. Hi, hi. Hello from the UK. Hello. I just thought it was a quirky little anti thing like drawing. No. <laughs> People's quirks are the best. You were thinking the same thing. Yes. They're now called Lem-Owned Buddies because we're fancy here. Lem-Owned Buddies. Thank you, T-Baby. What is the drawing game? I'm going to draw a few things on the screen and you are going to guess in the comment section. It's just a fun little thing that we do. Oh, oh I'm just looking at my... text messages from my sister and my mother before i'm watching my sister on tiktok <laughs> oh 
Okay. Um, my drawings are top notch, Abby. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, quick question, Auntie. Have you ever done karaoke? No, I am too chicken shit for karaoke. Hello from Guyana. Hello. Oh, good luck, Measy. Good luck. Hello from Arkansas. Hello, Tanya. The inspection went perfect. Literally, like nothing was wrong. It went, it went the best it could ever go. Liquid courage. I do not drink. But even when I drank, I was still too chicken shit. Okay. Pictionary word generator. The yak is still your favorite. I don't blame you. Okay. <laughs> she sings in front of 400 people on the internet, but not 20 people in real life. I can't sing in front of one person in real life. If someone's staring at me expecting me to sing in real life, like even Uncle Matrix, even my family, it's too scary. I can sing here because I can't see you. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday, I can sing, yeah. Um... First word. Here is the first word. Here we go. All right. Um, Oh, you guys got it. You guys got it so fast. You're so fast. You guys got it so fast. I'll just give one more second for people to write in case they haven't yet. <sighs> Let's see if I make it till 12 today. <laughs> the answer is jacket the answer was jacket all right this is a hard one to draw but i have an idea for it but i don't know if you'll be able to understand what my idea is we're gonna try here we go this is number two this is gonna be hard Let's try to use some like thingies. If I draw like this. And then I draw Okay. <gasps> A couple people got it on TikTok. A couple, like. <laughs> Two people got it on TikTok. It's not a yak mouse. So, all right. More people are getting it on TikTok. Yes, nobody has gotten it on YouTube yet. Unless they set it up really hard and I, up, up higher and I didn't see it. You guys are close on YouTube. TikTok, a lot of you have gotten it. Yeah, okay. Oh, someone got it on tick on uh in, on YouTube. Somebody got it on YouTube. Somebody else got it on YouTube.
The answer was stay. The word is stay. So he's being like stay to the dog. And the dog's staying like a good little boy or a girl. So the word was stay. All right. Let's see. Next word. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Can't do that one. I didn't even know how to do that one. Okay, here's one. Let's try this one. I thought it was middle finger to it first. <laughs> All right, last one, and then we're going to read a couple more stories. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Dang, I missed that one, and that's how I tell my dog to stay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, uh, okay, let's do it like this. Let's do like this, like this. Okay. trouble okay hold on this is gonna make the big di the biggest difference i know this is words but okay can we figure that out i don't know how else to do this without writing that word yes youtube and tiktok okay we're getting it we're getting it we're getting it Nice job. You're very welcome, Dylan. <laughs> nice job. The answer was elope. The word was elope. All right, let me know how many did you get out of three, and if you did not get them all, which one did you miss? And while I do that, uh, we are going to pull up the next story which is going to be jamie on tiktok weird dreams so jamie on tiktok please let me know that you are here just confirm you're still here bexter hello i missed you too bye mouse love you so much going to the chapel and we're gonna get married going to the chapel and we're Gonna get married. Missed all three. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Stephanie, thank you for the hand heart. Alicia, thank you for the rose. Erica, thank you for the heart me. Um, Jamie TikTok, are you still here? Please let me know. We'll read you next. Thank you, Jen. You drew my wedding pic in Vegas. <laughs> I live in Vegas, me watching and laughing. Yes, Jamie is here. All right, we're gonna look up weird dreams. Let's look her up. Weird dreams, found ya. Here you are. Bring you over here. Thirty percent down. We're not. We're not. Definitely not hitting a million likes. It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. 
My fiance and I experienced my first real glitch and I've never been more excited. Ooh, Abby, what was it? Weird way to propose, but okay, I do. <laughs> yes, I found it, Jamie. Can you please do a vocal video? I love hearing you sing. What do you mean you just want me to make a video just singing something? <laughs> Yes. You have missed 10 stories. We are on number 11, Anastasia. We are on number 11. You could all send requests. You could send a request. You could. <sighs> okay. Um... Do you do singing videos for a little? Didn't I did two singing videos a long time ago when you guys were asking, and then I stopped. You missed all three draw rings. All right, we are going to be reading Weird Dreams, and we are starting Weird Dreams at 2 50 50. Here we go. Hey, Andy. Hi. When I found you about a year ago, I binged all your videos. I absolutely love your channel and the way you tell stories. Thank you. I've had weird and unexplainable things happen to me since I was young. So I have many stories, but I'll start with a couple of dreams. This is a bit long, but don't worry. I know we love the long ones. Number one, different life. There was a point in time where I ended up getting a new job at a bakery. Sometimes I would go out with friends to a bar right around the corner after work. I'd always leave early though because I didn't like staying up late. Most days were pretty normal, like going to my parents' place or to the movies, but then after about a year of this, I had a friend who drove their car off a bridge. I was so devastated. A week after that happened, I was sitting at the dining room table and I thought something just felt off. As soon as I thought that, I felt fear and panic. And then I woke up in my bed in a cold sweat. I lay there for about 30 minutes trying to process what just happened. I had fallen asleep and lived an entire year of my life. I had to scramble to figure out what day it was. That was four years ago and I still think about it. Sometimes I forget that year of my life was just a dream. Wait. Hold on a second, Jamie. So when you woke up, was your friend okay? Like, did that not happen? That's not what I was expecting from the title either. Oh my God, the check my private videos, I swear. All the details in the beginning were the basis of the dream. Right, they were in the dream. So I'm saying when you woke up from your from like your dream, the year long dream. Oh, so wait, are you saying the things in the dream? None of it happened. Not none of it happened, but like you didn't have that friend at work because that was part of your dream. You started at the bakery like the bakery was part of the dream. I get it. The whole thing, that whole thing was like the, the year that you weren't that it was just that you were dreaming a whole year of your life. A whole year? That is so weird and crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, that is so crazy. Okay, let's move on to the second dream. That was nuts. I can't even. I can't even. Oh, my God. Fucking... Bullshit scared me so much again. This damn puzzle piece. Where is it? I'm connected. It didn't even ask me to do the puzzle piece this time. Imagine mourning a friend that's not real. Yes. I've jumped for weeks and months at a time too. It's always unsettling to try to trying to be back here. Yes, the lady that did 40 years in a dream. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden getting so tired. 
don't know if I'm going to make it till 12. We'll see. Okay. <sighs> Number two, astral dream. I lay down to take a nap on the couch one day. At some point, I had gotten up and was going to my room. But by the time I got to my room, I really, I got really, really weak. So I crawled back to the couch and then I laid back down. I was just completely aware of my surroundings and I started hearing a high-pitched noise. I tried really hard to tune into it, but I couldn't. Then I was hungry, so I walked over to the refrigerator and I tried to get cereal, but I was weak again. So I crawled back to the couch again. This time there was some someone on the couch. It looked and felt like my grandmother. Hold on. I don't know what's going on today. I was getting I'm getting an error on my YouTube. Okay. Hope you hope you guys can see me on YouTube. Um it looked and felt like my grandmother. It never showed her face though. Not sure why, but that's the point where I realized that I wasn't actually awake this whole time. I was like, hmm, if this is my mind, I can make it into whoever I want. And so I made it into my boyfriend. We sat and hung out for a bit, walking around the house, etc. But I started to feel weak yet again. So I sat down. That's when I started to hear the high pitched noise again. I kept on trying to open my eyes on my physical body, but it was so difficult. I finally tuned into the noise and could hear a full on conversations. And that's when I just went. I walked outside and I went into all these different houses and it all happened so quick because I was basically flying. The last conversation I could hear was clear as day and I was drawn to it. It was some people making a movie in their home. I was just observing and I followed this one guy downstairs. Then all of a sudden I was being pulled back to my place. It was almost like my body was trying to pull me back inside, but I didn't want to go. After leaving and doing all that stuff, I felt so weak though, so it was hard to fight. My astral self yelled, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10.21 p.m. <laughs> and she said something 58, but I just couldn't tell. So I tried again and she just started playing music and I got frustrated. So I yelled it once again very clearly. And she told me that it was 5.58. And once I got the time, part of me was like, I really need to wake up and remember. I kept going back and forth between the me that's laying down and then my astral projection body. I was lying there. My astral projection body was right there where I was laying, but they wouldn't merge. I opened my eyes and I was trying to move, but I was so weak and I could just see one only. I could only see one part of myself. Like part of me was there and the other part was just not. I was literally straining to make my astral projection self mold back with me so I could wake up. I don't know what happened, but I was finally able to merge back with my body. When I woke up, though, I was freezing and it was 558. What the fuck? The end. What the fuck? That's so weird. This is so weird. I so talking about astro. Sorry, I was distracted for a second because I'm still getting this error on my YouTube. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, it's never happened before, right? I've never had problems on YouTube. I don't know what the problem is right now. Um. But so normally, right, when we talk about when we have like astral projection stories, I've never heard of anyone talking about them being like weak when they're trying to do stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Do you guys have any any input on this? Because I'm a little bit lost for as far as input goes. Like, I don't even know what to say. I think it's all really crazy. You've astral traveled before. YouTube is being weird tonight, right? I wonder why Uncle Matrix came in here before and he was asking me if my internet was okay because he's having trouble with his internet. She was caught between her soul and her earth body, but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Weak from trying to materialize the experience. Oh, maybe.
That's why she was so tired. Maybe. Interesting. These are crazy, though. Crazy. Have you ever had any more astral projection experiences like that before? It was the first time I think I've ever astral projected. Has it happened since? Does Uncle watch you while he's in the other room? No. Sometimes he'll pop in and say hi. Um, but for the most part, he's not watching me. He's playing video games and doing whatever. Not since, but plenty of lucid dreams. It's very interesting. I'm a bit blurry for you. Make sure that you put me on the correct resolution. I astral project all the time since I was a little girl. That's so cool. That is so, so cool. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. We are going to vote. Did you appreciate those stories? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. I used to lucid dream a lot when I was younger, and I really don't anymore. Why am I so tired? Okay, next up is going to be Luddy from TikTok. The man in my doorway took my baby. This one I'm interested in hearing too. Just please verify with me, Luddy, that you are still here. So to make sure you're here. Here, 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 here. Yes, still here. Perfect. All right, I'm going to put this one away. The man in my doorway took my baby. Like, what even the fuck? Like, what even the fuck? What's the trigger warning for your story that you want to mention, Letty? Maybe it was a dingo. Okay, King. <laughs> I'm blurry for you guys. Did you make sure the resolution is correct on YouTube? It like automatically puts me on a shittier resolution. You have to change it. Infant loss. Okay, trigger warning for infant loss for the story in case that's a thing for you guys. I have not, Amy. I have not seen Insidious. I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. Okay, the man... In my doorway, took my baby. Like, what the fuck? Yes, put it on 1080 to be clear. Thank you, Crystal. Good night, Jess. Oh, good night, Jess. Love you. Good night. Okay. We are reading The Man in My Doorway Took My Baby. And we are at 3.02.54. Here we go. Hi, Indie Matrix. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I feel like the first one wasn't high enough. I've been following you for a while and never thought I had a story to share until this happened. And it's taken a while for me to be able to tell the story without becoming emotional. But here goes. I'll start with a little backstory. A couple of years ago, I started having these weird dreams where I would wake up, look around, and there would be something scary happening in my bedroom, and I would try so hard to wake my husband up, but find that I couldn't move or talk, and by the end of each episode, I'm actually awake, shaking my husband and waking him up, but then not remembering doing so. Super weird, and I can't tell if it's a dream or real life, but I digress. That sounds like sleep paralysis. One time that really stands out to me was the one time I woke up and looked at my doorway and the door was open, even though I always sleep with my door closed. When I looked up into the doorway, there was this shadow-like dark figure of a really big stocky man. I freaked the fuck out and immediately started shaking my husband saying there was a man in our house. From our front door to, from our front door to ours, from our front door to ours. Maybe your bedroom door from your front door to your bedroom door. You would need to pass by my kids room first. So my first concern was that this man must have hurt my kids. My husband rushed to turn on the light and the door was closed. 
He still looked around the entire house and of course found nothing and the kiddos were sound asleep. We chalked it up to another one of those weird lucid dreams that I've been having even though it felt so real. I told my mom about it in passing and she smiled and said, that was my dad. Apparently my grandfather, who passed when my mother was young so I never met him, would stand in my mom and aunt and uncle's doorways in their rooms to check in on the kids and lovingly watch them sleep. It doesn't feel lovingly though when there's a spirit staring at you. I think it's, it feels scary. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, very cool. He didn't have to scare the shit out of me, but okay, that's what I'm saying. I felt more at peace with the whole situation. It wasn't an intruder or a dark entity, just a grandpa checking in on his granddaughter. <laughs> it does not. Fast forward to the beginning of last year. I got pregnant with our surprise baby. Our third was supposed to be our last, but somehow this little guy made his way through. It was a really rough pregnancy where I was super sick almost the entire time, lost 10 pounds, couldn't eat, had no energy, and always just felt meh. I was super ready for this pregnancy to be over and have my baby in my arms. Well, joke was on me. At 23 weeks exactly, my water broke and I had my baby too early. He lived for one day while hooked up to the tube in the NICU, but due to him being so early, he would never breathe on his own and had brain trauma. He ended up passing away the next day in my arms in a light blue swaddle I put him in, preparing to send my baby to the morgue. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry for your loss. That evening, crying, husband and I went back to our postpartum room in the hospital. I cried desperately all night to the point that I was given anti-anxiety meds to be able to fall asleep. That same night, I woke up to the same shadow man in my hospital room doorway lit up by the hallway light. Up until then, I hadn't had one of those dreams for a couple of years. He was still a tall, stocky, dark shadow with no features, but this time he was holding a little blue bundle in his arms. Stop. When I turned the light on in the room, he was gone and my door was closed. For the first time since my baby had passed, I felt the smallest amount of peace knowing that my baby was being protected and crossed over with a loved one. It's been four months and it's one of the only things that brings me peace regarding my baby's death to this day. Thank you for taking the time to read. Hope you had a lovely day. Oh, the end. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry for your loss. But the second part really does give you a little bit of peace. Grandpa came and took the baby. I'm already crying. I just put my two-month-old to bed. I'm so sorry for your loss. Okay, good, Abby. I'm glad. Yes. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. Everyone saying they're sorry for your loss. Yes. Goosebumps. Yes, Katie, baby. Bloody, thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, we are going to vote. Did you appreciate? that story yes or no on youtube happy face or sad face on tiktok nobody better vote no on that story i'll kill you all <laughs> i'm just sending you so many hugs Ugh. okay Um, I know it's not really a happy face. What's her baby's name if she wants to share? I mean, that's up to her. I'm so sorry. Thank you for sharing such a vulnerable life moment. His name was Kieran. He is safe. He's safe with grandpa. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, okay. The last one I have written down is the, I can't read my handwriting. Rub, the rub something with rubber or rub something. My guardian angel, can you just, um, <laughs> 
Can you just confirm that you're here still? If I click sad face by mistake, you can barely see I'm bawling all. Oh, it's because I can barely see. Here, just change my username. Oh, that's you? Okay. Good night, Dylan. All right, let me get that one queued up. My guardian angel. Oh, by gosh, by golly, my eyes are dry. It's time for mistletoe and holly. Only it's not because it's March. My guardian angel. Okay. Um, I am going to need you to tell me the first part of your email address because I have a lot of emails with guardian angel in the title. So I'm not sure. So just not the at whatever.com. Just the first part of your email address so I can find you. <sighs> Ruby D. Is that it, Ruby D? Mm, when did you send it? Maybe that'll help me. Ooh, thank you for the paper crane, Katie Joe. What up, girl? Oh, I found it. You sent it to the wrong email address, you silly goose. I found it, though. I got it. No worries. I'm gonna I forwarded that to myself to the right one just waiting for it to come through okay there we go All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I got you. Oh my God. The See My Private videos are like crazy tonight. You're welcome, Kayla. Okay. Oh my God. Why did I get off of my pillow? I don't know. Oh my God, why am I so tired? All right. <laughs> we're reading my guardian angel and we're starting it at 3, 12, 38. Hi, D-Matrix. Hi. First, some background. So to start, I have always been sensitive to spirits and energies ever since I was little. My aunt was unalived by her husband, and she was pregnant. Afterwards, he unalived himself. We don't really know what happened, but we have some idea of what happened, but we don't really know. Anyway, her name is Sarah. That's important later. She died before I could remember her, but have always been a prominent energy in my life. So the first story that I remember was when I was about five or six, I was at my grandma's house and I was looking out the window and out of the blue, I said, look at the little girl outside. And my grandma did not see anything, but went along with it because she is in tune with spirits and stuff. And she said, is her name, what is her name? And I said, butterfly, which is odd because she had a butterfly tattoo on her stomach. End of the first story. Second story. This happens more recently in time about a few months ago. I was sitting in my room playing The Sims and went up to use the bathroom and out of my eye, I see a face in my closet and I turn around to look and see who it was thinking it was my brother playing a prank on me, LOL. But I turned around and I saw nothing. I shrug it off thinking it was the light playing a prank. After I go back to my desk from using the bathroom, my light on my mini fridge turned on in a series of three taps. 
which I thought was weird as my mini fridge light can only be turned on by pressing it and nothing goes around my fridge to turn it on. So I spoke out and I asked what the name of the person or entity was doing to my fridge and I got and I got packed the name Sarah, but it didn't really sound like Sarah. I couldn't really tell what it was, but it did sound similar or a couple similar. I think period should go there. Similar. A couple of days passed and the flickering had stopped, but a couple of weeks later, it started doing it again. Nothing was around my fridge, so it couldn't have been anything different. I say again, who's there? And I got back the same name, Sarah again. I think about it and it didn't sound like it, but still... But it hit me one day while I was at school that it wasn't Sarah. It was, in fact, Sarah. Oh, that's why we had to remember Sarah from before. Oh, it was Sarah. Oh, plot twist. Plot twist on the second one. Plot twist. The end. Your chat's running slow again? Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. That's okay. It was so when I was reading the name before, the Sarah name is it was S E R A. You missed the story? So the first story is that hold on a second. Where's the Sarah? I'm trying to find the part where it said Sarah so that I can like read that part again. Oh, her name is Sarah. Her aunt's name was Sarah. S-E-R-A, Sarah. S-E-R-A. YouTube was frozen. What? What is going on with YouTube today? We're having some technical. Oh, there you go. Yes, 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 yes. What is going on with YouTube today, friends? We are having issues. That was a very cool plot twist at the end. Thank you so, so much. Seeing the spelling helps put it together. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it does, it does, it does. It's supposed to be Sierra because you wrote S-E-R-A as the name. Cyber attack on YouTube? Maybe. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Maybe, 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 baby. YouTube is still being weird. Oh, it is spelled differently. I got it. That was a really cool plot twist at the end, though. That was very cool. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or bad face? Sad face on TikTok. Oh my goodness. shoo doo ba doo boo Red on live. Boom, bam. Bam 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 bam. Bada boom bada boom bada boom bada boom bada bam 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 bam. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Please just don't even mind me. Who knows what's happening? I don't know what's going on with my connection. It's being so weird. It's being totally weird. 